Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Uh, tonight will be the culmination of five months of storytelling, uh, ending season one of our first campaign, Rise of Rasoon. Um, if you're new to the show and looking to catch up on our sessions, this is the wrong episode to watch. <laughs> um, no, start at the end. We Go have back. all of our we have all of our sessions loaded on our YouTube channel, also on our Twitch channel. Uh, there are a couple of sessions, I think uh, eleven and ten, that I need to upload again to Twitch. But other than that, we're all caught up on those. Um, if you're looking to connect with us on social media, uh, the best way to do that is to find our Twitter account, MBMRPG, and there is a pinned tweet with all of our social media. Uh, thank you for any support that you guys have given us along the way. It's been incredible. Um, also, thanks to the following individuals and companies that have made our show better. Thanks to Axe and Shield for their amazing combat risers, currently elevating a colossal red dragon on our table. So thank you to Axe and Shield. Uh, thank you to Dwarven Forge for your amazing dungeon train. Thank you to uh, uh, Sirenscape for your awesome soundscapes. Uh, and lastly, thanks to Rudy Rutenberg and Satine Phoenix for your guys' help along the way. Uh, tonight, uh, we'll be using content from Tyrants and Hellions. Um, if you're interested in adding a little extra punch to your baddies, I recommend you check it out. It is really good and really fun. Uh, additionally, we'll be using a modified skill challenge from DungeonMaster.com uh, called Playing With Fire. Um, an important note, um, we won't be, well actually we will be, there's, a, there's been a change. We will be streaming next week, but uh, we will be streaming with Howard as the DM. Uh, he'll be running us through some Red Handed Doom. Uh, the following two weeks after that we will not be streaming as we're prepping for something else, a super secret project. Um, and then we'll be back with uh, a little bit more Red Handed Doom and then starting in September, we will be back with our new super secret project that if you want to know about, um, I'll be happy to uh, post updates on Twitter and Instagram, uh, Hyperion PDX at, at uh, Hyperion PDX on both of those, Instagram and, and Twitter. Um, as soon as we can say something, we definitely will. Uh, our show um, will be returning, like I said, in Mondays. I, I got lost here. Um, so with that, <laughs> let's meet the players and their characters. Mike, who are you playing tonight? I'm still playing Cirk, the half-orc barbarian uh, champion of the Fairwind Tavern. Eric? Uh, like always, playing Elray Foxfire Doran, whose voice is a little bit scratchy today, so <laughs> bear with him. Also oh, smoke. Um, Aaron? Uh, I'll be playing Visago Free, a tiefling bard, who, uh, because this is a finale, I will say, might not be as trustworthy as what? what? I had <laughs> oh big goodness. reveals happening on the final episode. <laughs> Wait, do you speak goblin? You have to tell me if you speak goblin. I don't speak goblin. Goblin, 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 goblin. Goblin, goblin. 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 Doug, Doug, who are you playing at? Uh, Xenos High Hill, the halfling wizard and captain of the Tempest Temptress. All right. And you know, you know I my name. I almost did it. I almost did my it. My name's Howard. Hey. And I'm playing Sarsarel, the submerged. The chosen champion, half elven cleric of Umberly. And I'll probably die if there's a breath weapon attack. Probably. <laughs> He's got a good history of getting knocked out with a breath weapon attack. I don't think Rosun has. Don't give a away breath spoilers on how this episode Sorry. ends. Sorry. Yeah. I don't think Rosun has. We didn't has cover that in the script read. Oh, yeah. Dragon, red dragons don't have breath weapons. <laughs> yeah, typically they do. Oh, that's so, what I missed. Oh, um, well, then I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do a little bit of recap. I'll just grab um, them and fire so them. Last week, the uh, party investigated <laughs> the disappearance of the Sisters of Fate, who were a coven of hags that may or may not have been hornswoggled out of a deal um, and then stole so the spyglass. Uh, they found that they had magically traveled to Cholt, um, so I, I would imagine that our party is going to make its way to Cholt at some point in the future. Um, I also found an artifact called, uh, in Imrik's Fort, called the Hurricane Throne, uh, which is made of a living water elemental. Um, and they found clues to its location um, and an item called the Hurricane Crown, that, which belonged to Imrik. Uh, Imrik is the original pirate captain for the Pirate Islands. Um, the first of which will lead to a place called the Vast Swamp which uh, Foxfire knows is on the border of Cormier and Symbia. So, 
there you go. There's that. Um, the party also negotiated uh, the Black Heart Council, uh, brought all the pirate lords together um, around the Black Heart table, and were able to an establish an agreement to coordinate defense against the Legion of the Ember Flame and a colossal red dragon named Rosun. Um, and toward the end of the Black Heart Council, uh, business moved on to other things, only to be interrupted uh, by what felt like an earthquake and the crashing of masonry around Emmerich's fort. Um, screams of citizenry alerted um, all in attendance that, uh, that everything was not as it appeared. Uh, so we'll start here. So uh, Captain Teldar, this is actually going back a little bit because I forgot that I had written this on the second note. Um, Captain Teldar uh, makes his way to the, uh, to the doors exiting the Blackheart Council meeting hall. Uh, as Teldar throws open the doors, everyone is struck with a blast of heat immediate, uh, immediately filling the meeting hall. Papers, papers curl and drapes begin to smolder as the meeting hall's temperature rises to that of an open forge. Uh, just over the fort's walls, an enormous dragon head can be seen and gouts of flame spilling from its mouth scorching the buildings uh, just beyond the protective barrier. The dragon lets out a deafening roar and a sound uh, that, that sounds like a thunderclap, crack, uh, cracking thick stone walls and shattering shields of the ar and armor of the defenders. Panic sets in as, uh, as each of you realize Rosun has found his way to Emmerich's hold um, and your only hope is to survive and make it to the Temptress. What do you do? Uh, Time to go to Cholton. I think we should run. I was told there was no breath weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I was lied to. What? Somebody <laughs> failed their role. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got a three. So yes. Uh, so, um, if you're asking, and I'll, we'll just start instead of rolling initiative, because yeah. that leaves me in the, the back. I'm going <laughs> to trip him. <laughs> okay. And then start running. Okay. You're going to start running. So, Rasoon is outside Emmerich's fort's walls. Yeah. Are you going to run towards? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely running to the battle because I'm to so brave. Towards the danger. Do you want to turn on your your trident? Uh, if that's what's happening, Visago wants to put on a Craigslist offer for clerics and see if anyone's looking. Cirque has <laughs> idea. <laughs> what's Cirque's idea? I'm not gonna Cirque's idea. idea. Everybody jump out the window into the bay. And you use your hat? Well, I use my hat. You blow your damn horn. Oh, you the know The merfolk pull us to our boat and we leave. <laughs> good plan. Good I have wanted to blow this the horn is, of the merfolk for so long. That's a good plan. It's been like three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so a couple of things before you jump in the boat. Grab me, then the misty boat. step. <laughs> <laughs> right into the boat. I don't, I don't think you can misty step. Thunder step. Oh, I, I, I can misty step and leave you behind in a cloudy, <laughs> misty... Uh, That's true. I think thunder step you can do. There is, I don't have thunder step. I have um, misty step. There is the uh, small factor of a bardic uh, mentor who has not yet been rescued. I mean, it's it's really going to be sad. It will be. We'll, we'll have a funeral. We'll have to mourn that later. It's um, going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... Does is he downstairs? Yeah, he he's is. downstairs. Yeah, he's, I yeah, know exactly where he is. Yeah, we. we I got we the keys. He oh, does yeah. have the keys. He's got the keys. The rangers got the keys. How okay. did you do that? Okay, so. Um, <laughs> so Cirque and I will go get the boat ready, and you class? guys join us when you're when you're able to. I'll take the horn. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. That's mm. my horn. I just get the army ready for you. No, see, I don't think you understand. See that giant fire giant over there? That's a dragon. That's a dragon. I, I rightfully stole it from that fire giant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from the fire giant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. So Volgrum is on his way out of the meeting hall. He's um, not even taking damage from us. Is yeah. he surprised by any of us? He does appear to be surprised. Oh. He was not. Oh. Uh, he's not made aware that uh, <laughs> that they would uh, that meat was back on the menu. Um, <laughs> but no, um, he does appear to be surprised. Uh, Mara Fairwind, or no, Mara Windstrider, not Fairwind. Um, uh, she says, as you guys are talking about rescuing Thevin, mm -hmm. uh, she says there is a exit through the dungeon. We can make it there. Oh, well, well, that fantastic. seems good because the dragon's not going to be Give me the keys. small enough to make it through there. <laughs> I, I'm faster. Faster than me? 40. 
He's got okay. he's got three move actions per turn. Oh, sir. yeah, you do. <laughs> you go get Thevin. I fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can go. Rangers are pretty feet. quick. Yeah. <laughs> he's got favorite terrain dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> I can't flash. He's gonna so, get lost though. So <laughs> it's true. Captain, Captain Windstrider suggests that you guys all travel to the dungeon and yeah. then oh, take sure. exit. She's trying to trick us into the she dungeon. She is. We should really go outside the window in the boat. Oh my god. Is, is anybody else coming with us or just her? Um she does not have any members of her crew oh, here wow. because um Zago is was her yeah. okay. basically yeah. agent here. Yeah. It would be really unfortunate if something bad happened to her here. Yes, sir. There'd be a, a open seat on the council. And somebody would, and there'd be a bar. This is not the time to be discussing this, I say. As, <laughs> over there. As, as several of the pirate lords are standing there. <laughs> Xenos might be having that thought oh, in his head. Oh, okay, that's monologue. good. Because as yeah, the ever trustworthy bard, I have. Okay. It's my duty so, to inform yeah, you. That's You're a not good doing idea. It, right? We should all just go downstairs. <laughs> yeah. So you Away guys, from the fire. You guys go head downstairs. Out of the furnace. Um, the rest of the pirate lords uh, kind of scatter. Um, um, the tiefling uh, pirate lord, mm -hmm. uh, Asnar, yeah. he um, and the person that brought him here just dimension door and leave. Um, Solid. Can you cast dimension door yet? No, I got misty stuff. No. Oh. Okay. It's almost as good. It's it's a single, single. It's like it's like a single target. Yeah. Mm, it's yeah. only thirty feet. It's thirty feet. Yeah. Um, well, that's fine. Just cast greater teleport instead. <laughs> Just get out. So yeah. you guys head down to the dungeon. Yep. Um, he can only teleport us like closer to the dragon. <laughs> Just into the belly. Limited dragon teleport. That's You're able to ability. find your yeah. way fairly easily. Fire wizard go from one fire yeah, to the other. Nice. Yeah, it's a couple down. couple um, levels down. You open the uh, the the prison cell that Thevin is in. Yep. Thevin has fifteen hit points, um, and he's willing to journey with you. Okay. So he doesn't want to die here, huh? No. Surprisingly. No. And not. actually, as you're journeying down, you see bits of masonry um, starting to fall from the ceiling from the. Tremendous crashing of a giant dragon. A dragon the size of Godzilla. I want to just put it in terms of uh, modern yeah. Real, and like real world equivalents. Yeah, of real world. appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think what we need to do is build a giant construct. Yeah. Maybe forge a massive sword. If we can make a, like a mecha dragon. Yeah. What if you were to make like five, five like metallic, like mechanical lions? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a good idea. And then if we like form together, I'll be the head, <laughs> and we'll form together. <laughs> I think so, and we're gonna the dragon's going to gonna attack while you're forming together. Is the thing. Oh, that doesn't seem Where's very fair. Where is that no tinkerware? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, um, you guys are down in the dungeon. Uh, Captain Windstrider says it's it's right through here. There is a uh, section of sewer that this exits into that we can hopefully make. All the way to the harbor, okay. or as much of the way as possible. Um, so um, she opens the secret door. Um, it smells because it's the sewers, um, and you begin making your way through the sewers. Um, almost immediately, you, you notice that the um, there are sections of the sewers that have collapsed already, um, narrowing the the way that you're going to progress. There's also, you can hear the dragon very loudly stomping around the city, breathing fire, um, and you can hear the cries of the, the citizens. Yeah. Um, yeah. Headed here. Um, so, at, well, why don't you guys make a survival check, and we'll see how far you get. Ooh. The ranger should be able to help with this. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm just going to yeah. let him do it. An eight. 19. 19. 20. Okay. Got a look over here. 10. 10. Okay, so <laughs> the 19 and the 20 uh, realize that you are about one bad turn away from be being collapsed into the, in the sewers. Um, so you could continue through the sewers, but if you manage to pass the dragon's path, it would definitely go Probably bad not for be you. Good. So... We go up. You've probably made it 
15 minutes at this point away from Nimrick's hold. We could definitely tell where the dragon is if we're up as opposed to in here. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's okay. go up. We go up. Okay. Uh, so the rest of the way to the Tempest Temptress is going to be a skill challenge. Um, it is going to be 10 successes before five failures. Regardless of whether or not you pass or fail the skill challenge, you will get to the Temptress. What will be waiting for you might be diff more difficult the more failures you get. <laughs> um, so there's a couple of things that I want to um, share with you before we get going with this. Um, one, the skills themselves are going to be randomly rolled, so there's gonna, you're going to need a D10. Um, and you can, um, as a bonus action, you can sacrifice yourself to give someone, uh, someone else a plus five bonus to uh, an ally skill check. Um, doing so is going to um, cost you some damage, and um, your next skill check is going to be um, is, is with a penalty. At a minus five? No, minus two. Uh oh. Because otherwise, why would you do it? If it's plus, <laughs> plus five, minus five, why would you do yeah. it? Um, so the other thing is, it is going to be randomly rolled, but if we get to one that just doesn't make sense at all, like there's a medicine check in here, um, there is a, that would make sense. a religion check. It would make sense for some people, but situationally it also not, might not make sense. Yeah. Not <coughs> others. Um, we, we might just re-roll. Um, all right. So uh, with that, let's roll initiative. And we'll see what we're doing. Yes, this is my best skill. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. Right. <laughs> That's your total? Yeah. Oh. That's also what I love. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's, awesome. that's going there. Okay, Mike, what would you get? Dex 14. is a dump stat. 14. No. No. Howard? Dex is a dump stat. Howard? Five. Five. Nice. Five. All right. Only if you're, I guess only if you're uh, Eric? 13. 13. Okay. Oh, Eric? No Eight. Eight. When did you need 14? And Doug? I rolled a four. 12. 12. Okay. You guys are doing great. Yeah. You guys are wait, really doing 13. great. What was Russ? Wait, wait, wait. I'm first? Yeah. Uh, Circus first. Well, so. I rolled Fall in your lead, sir. Gonna be, I mean, I, I have the stats in, in this PDF that I, I don't really built. Know. But I don't really know. Um, if you okay. come, come <laughs> face to face with her soon, it's probably going to go poorly for you guys. We might not. No, no, I, I got a plan for that. Uh, yeah, uh, Sirk, go fight Rasoon. <laughs> no, I have a, another plan. Misty Step? <laughs> That's part of it. Fog climb? And then cry. Hmm. Misty Grease? Step and cry. Grease. Grease. Put on Grease. your brown pants? Of course. <laughs> I'm going to cast... I'm already wearing them. Uh, I'm going to cast Sleep Storm and put out these fires. Oh, no, the wand. Oh, the wand of wonder. If you can paralyze them with a hundred, Or then... turn them into a bunny. Oh, That's turn them into a giant bunny. stone. Oh. Okay. Par it's that probably cool. Cool. Yo. Shipwreck is up first. Yes. I need you to roll a d10 for me. Seven. Seven. Okay. Um, so you need to make a perception check. Oh, all right. Oh, that is a great way to start. Is it a natural one? Yes, that natural is. one. Okay. So I would like to sacrifice myself to get to yeah. So <laughs> you <laughs> see um, right, right out the gate. Right out the gate. Good start. Yeah. I'm, the Cirque's leading the way. <laughs> with a mat one. So you can't see anything with the smoke and fire on the streets. It's really difficult. Uh, it is it very burns. much. It is very much like uh, a war zone here. And staring um, at a campfire. Yeah, staring <laughs> at a campfire. Would you like to use your bonus action to give somebody? Yes. Okay. So you're going to take one fire damage. Okay. Um, and who are you going to give the bonus to? Uh, who's up next? Uh, that would be Aaron. Hmm. Zago. If you and want to give it to someone else, I understand. Well, it, it's, yeah. I don't know what the check's going to be. And yeah. that's the no thing. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, so, but uh, he's got lots so of luck. So what we'll do is, I, it, won't, yeah. it doesn't have to be on their next roll. Right. They can choose to use it. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't automatically have to be used. It can be like an inspiration. I'm going like to ha I'm gonna give it to Howard. Okay, so Howard, that is going to represent... Your plus five bonus Woo. that you can use at yeah. any point. So okay. Because you're I, so limited I can choose, on the number of skills you I can have. choose after. Yeah. 
I find out what the skill yeah, is? Yeah, I'll okay. tell you what the skill is, and you can just say Perfect. whether or not you use it. Okay. okay. So, D10? Zaga. One. One. Okay. So, this is going to be that was the, a moderate... That was the skill, about, not the roll. Yeah. Yeah. That is a, yeah. This is going to be a moderate athletics check. So, moderate okay. is DC 15. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, 23? 23. Okay, so just before you, a building uh, collapses, blocking your your path as Rasoon crashes through the streets of Emmerich's Hold. Um, you are able to climb through the wreckage and help uh, others to safety. Um, so you can basically cool. just make chart a path and then everybody else Give can follow, through. follow you through. Cool. Uh, Xenos. As my bonus action? I'm going to go ahead and give Xenos a D8 inspiration. Oh, bag. so you're going to take... Oh, you're gaming the system. I have inspiration. <laughs> I know. Oh, you're, oh, you're using I'm using my regular, bardic. Yeah. Okay, not the, the yeah. D6 fire damage that would not do a whole lot of... It might do one. It might do one. It might. <laughs> All right, so roll a D10. Uh, yep, roll a D10. Well, you just have I a got resistance, four. right? Yeah. A four. So just mm -hmm. half. All right, Doug. I mean, I could this is going to be a moderate survival three. check. Three. So DC 15. DC 15 survival. DC 15 Now, survival. do I have to... Uh, after your die after you, I roll? Yeah, after you roll, you can choose whether you want to use that or okay. not. Okay. So what am I facing that requires a moderate survival check? Well, why don't you roll it? Well, can I use a spell to get myself out of this mess? Out of the skill challenge? No, not out of the skill challenge. Right, so that's a seven. I would have to roll an eight on the D eight to make it. Maybe that's so pretty. Circle like pretty so tight. Uh, <laughs> but I you know, there's it. always more to go around if you if you want to try. All right, I'll roll the D eight to to see. Okay. I got a three, so oh, that's okay. that didn't. That's a, okay. add so, five. To uh, <laughs> smoke from the flames uh, is in the in the buildings are getting thick, making it difficult to breathe. Uh, you take a moment to create a makeshift filter uh, for your breathing. Um, your mask doesn't feel, fit properly, though, um, and you guys have disadvantage on your next physical skill. Unless it's Cirque. Unless it's Cirque. Because Cirque doesn't have to breathe. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as you make your way through the smoke, though, you happen to see um, a group of small creatures um, they, they would be known as goblins, typically. Um, and they are in the streets ahead of you. So... For my skill, can I cast Thunderwave? <laughs> uh, this is actually going to be broken up into... Can you do set those down close to where your minis are? Um, where are our minis? Where are the end? Back over there. Over here, um, like you could thing. probably take Rasoon off the table if it's going to help you see. Yeah. All right. If you don't care, then that's fine. Uh, we need to move the camera over there. Yeah. And can we hit the hit the switch? Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Don't knock over the smoke. Don't knock over the smoke. Pretty cool smoke. You're destroying the smoke. So Xenos, you have your move action and your bonus action good? to do um, anything else in your turn. Well, uh, there's a <coughs> bunch of goblins around us. There are a bunch of goblins around you. So I don't want to move, use my move action to run up to any of them. And I'm not going to use my bonus action to misty step to any of them, so I will just stay here. Okay. Uh, Box the ranger go fight them. Oh, you got goblins. Goblins. Mm -hmm. goblins. Killing some goblins. Gobble, yeah, goblins. Gobble. 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 Now you've got some concealment because of the smoke. Cool. But I'm still going to whip out a short bow and just take a shot. Okay. Uh, do you want to make a stealth check before you do that? Sure. How about a 27? A, a 27 is fairly hidden. Okay. You think that, that um, where did that ranger go? That's a pretty cunning action. Ooh. So do you want to shoot a goblin or do you okay. want to shoot a bugbear? I'm going to shoot a bugbear. Okay. Because he can't see me. So make your attack. You have um, you have advantage on the attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that one. Uh, 24. 24 hits. Okay. Cool. And on the six, and oh, there's no one for sneak attack. Sneak attack? Oh, is there no, sneak attack? Hidden. I guess sneak attack. I'm yeah, hidden. You are That's hidden. right. <laughs> sneak attack. An arrow just comes shooting out of this pillar of smoke. So, 16 damage with the sneak attack. Okay, 16. 
He is very injured by your 16 damage. It just hits him like right in the sternum. Shoot. And he's like, Ugh! but he managed just to straighten himself up. All right. So uh, the bugbears get to go. And they're going to move forward and take a swing at the closest target. Probably me. Probably you? Okay. So yeah, one moves yeah, up against Sark. Me and Sarsara. And then Sarsara. one moves up against Sarsara. This one moves to Sarsara. there. Yeah. And this one moves to Perfect. there. All right. So the one against Sarsara is going to take a swing with his Morning Star. Um, that is a 19 for Shiri C. That is exactly what you All mean. right. So that is. Hold on. So before his damage, he okay. hits me. Okay. He needs to make a dex saving throw DC 15. Okay. Um, that is not going to make it. And, well, he only takes four damage. Takes four more damage. Yeah, lightning. And then he deals to you a mighty It'd have been 13. Really cool if I'd rolled high and 13 damage back to you. Ouch. Um, hold on. Are you within 30 feet of me? Yeah. So I'll extend my ward, my my um, protective ward around him and absorb the the damage so he takes none of it. Okay. Nice. So you take the 13 damage to your ward instead. Yes. Okay. I love it. Uh, Mike, you're going to get attacked, or Cirque's going to get attacked. Okay. That is a natural 20, my friend. That's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Um, and then he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, 13, so 15 plus 23, 30 damage. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> All right. That's, Mike, I can less than that by two if it would help. That's uh, <laughs> that's it for the bugbears. Sarsarel, you're up. Are the goblins going to go? Or? The goblins are going to go up here up at the, the top. Okay. Um, I think Sarsarel is going to I'm trying to figure out if I can get around yeah. hitting Mike. I don't want to hit Cirque. <clears throat> yeah. With what? Thunder With wave. Thunder wave. Uh, what, what I kind guess of save I can is step it? over it's here. A constitution save. Is it? A no, con that would still do it. A con save? Point. Yeah. Hmm. You'd still take half as a thing. Uh, I'll call. I'll call lightning instead, because okay. we're outside, yeah. Yeah, so you're I'm outside. <coughs> it's nighttime. It's so stormy. It's now stormier. Okay. Um, so it's already stormy. That's excellent. That is excellent. Um, so I need more D10s, though. So the one that just hit Cirque is going to regret it. Uh, <laughs> He's not going to regret it, because he just did 30 damage in one swing. Oh, is he so impressive? He is he's very so impressive. pleased with himself. He's a bugbear that's okay, got an arrow in his chest. Divinity, that's pretty and he can take 50 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. From a bolt of lightning. He uh, turns into a Merkin <laughs> character. You see his skeleton for just a second, and then... <laughs> Which uh, guy just threw up? The one that hit you. <laughs> right in front oh, of you. Oh, crumble of ash. He made me mad. I mean, he <laughs> saved me from the damage. I feel like I should have been there to save you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you kill him. <laughs> one, one shot. Perfect. Uh, his friends look a little nervous at this, <laughs> especially the goblins. You just lightning liquefied their friends. Um, the goblins are going to, they're going to all attack with their short bows. They're not going to get in range. <laughs> they might even back well, up a little bit. I was going to say, one of them is already right. adjacent to me. Uh, he, well, he'll attack with his melee weapon then. Okay. Um, so he tries to stab you with a, a blade that has been tied to a stick. Um, and that is a 19. Okay, so he hits you for uh, six slashing damage. Okay. The rest of them will go ahead and back up. They're going to back up 30 feet. Um, and they're going to start shooting arrows at you guys. So one is going to be at Zago. That okay. is 15. Uh, just, you just hit it, yeah. Just hit, okay. So that is 
Uh, four damage. One's okay. going to be at uh, at uh, fo Foxfire, and that's going to miss. It's going to be one at that's going to miss Sarsarel. Um, one at Xenos is going to miss. Is that all of the goblins that I had? Yeah, you yeah. have yeah, cause three one ranges. Yeah, because one of them did a melee. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's them. A Cirque. I'm going to rage now. What? Yeah. <laughs> Weird, right? That is crazy. I'm going to move to right there. All right. Do you have that thing yet that allows you to continue to rage if you're not attacking? And No, it's, that's okay. much later. Okay. So for this, I will have you go ahead and make constitution saving throws once we're out of this and we're continuing in the skill challenge to keep your rage going. Oh, okay. How about that? That works for me. I don't want to, you only get so many rages Four. per day, I don't want to scream. Yeah. All right, so that's, uh, oh, I'm going to get a D4 up. Does a 15 hit the guy, the bugbear? Uh, 15 does not hit the bugbear. Wow. Clangs against his shield. Poop. Oh, natural one. This is doing great. Wow. Zerk's doing awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot how to rage. Uh, let's see. That's, that's a little better. Guy. Well, when I roll higher than a three on my attacks, I actually hit stuff. Yeah. Uh, so that's a 26. 26 does hit. All right. Two, six, 15 damage. OK, so what does this look like when you smash this guy to death? I'm just coming down straight on his. his <laughs> <laughs> you just Pile well, drive him into the yeah. ground. All right, so he sinks a good uh, foot into the cobblestone, and <laughs> his head cracks, and he falls over on the ground. Because um, that was the guy you shot an arrow in yeah. his chest. Yeah. Yeah. So and we I are, just look at the goblin like, oh, you're dead. <laughs> We're back to Bazaga. All right. What uh, you doing? I'm casting sleep on that group of three goblins. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, 22 HP worth of Okay, so you've got three goblins that got, got sleepy time. <laughs> and that was the group of three, right? Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. put them all, all yeah. three of them to sleep. So I just, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I look tired. Do you give them a little bit of snappy quip banter when you put them to sleep? Yeah, I, uh, I go, you sleep. <laughs> and then they just go. <laughs> and then they just go to sleep. All right, Xenos. Because uh, bad banter. So there's one sleep. left? Uh-huh. Fire, firebolt him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Clearly. It doesn't make sense to grease one, so that's a 26. Uh, yeah, that hits. I feel like, I feel like Xenos would grease one, though. <laughs> but he'd grease all three. And no, I, I would have gone for the three that were clumped then, up, but there's like, And then the next skill challenge. So that's that nine damage. The physical is, skill challenge yeah. that we have disadvantage on is getting past the grease. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so nine damage? Nine damage. Are you killing Okay. Jump on one and slide across. All right. Nice. This has uh, been done before. Foxfire, are you style. leaving these goblins alive or are you going to... I mean, we're alive to, is we're up. We're kind of trying to get out of here, so... Yeah. It's true, we are. Okay, so you're going straight forward? Yep. Oh, wait. All right. Don't, Sirk? Don't leave these things that come back and one, attack us. I don't, two, I don't think three, they're going to last four. long. Yeah. Well, Sirk okay. can run past one and okay. kick it in the head and then continue to move and then kick the next one in the head. Okay. okay. That works, too. So I guess if he's going to do that, I'll walk... So roll a d10 for me. I can go past the third one and just kind of cut his throat on its way. That sounds good. That's There's a four. Eight. Oh, an yeah. eight. All right. So this is an easy pre uh, perception. Hey, I can percept things. Well, I mean, there's oh, plenty of us. Ten. Ten is what you needed. Oh, my oh. God. Good. So you hear <laughs> cries you of help things. in a nearby partially collapsed building. I hear what? I'm sorry. You, you hear cries of help in a nearby partially collapsed building. Uh... That's rough. I mean, it's a pirate city, though, so everybody hears a bad guy. Yeah. Basically. You know what? I prefer the term mutually exclusive to moral obligations. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to go check it out. Okay. So you head over. Um, it it yeah. looks like, <laughs> like um, good the, the door is basically just blocked, and if you had someone that um, was big and beefy, you could probably get him to move it out of the way. Blocked by a giant rooster. 
if you weren't such a narc. Sir! <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm pretty strong. Uh, we'll help Door here. Thank we'll you, help. Garrett. I'm not raged. <laughs> Advantage so, on strength checks. <laughs> um, so are you going to help him out? Yeah. Okay. So make a uh, athletics check. Oh, just athletics? Yep. You get, 17. You get to do this with advantage because you. Oh, yeah. Hey, I rolled a 17 that time. Okay. Uh, 28. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you push the masonry that's blocking the door away. Um, there is a family. This was a bakery at one point. Um, Ooh, it is nice. no longer a bakery. Um, and Steve. there Sounds is like a, uh, a family that was. That operated the bakery that uh, trapped uh, that was trapped in there. Okay. Why so. did they operate a bakery? So. Oh, they needed the dough. <sighs> so here's what you gain for for opera uh, for rescuing <laughs> party members. One, they're going to continue with you. Okay. On your way. Um, and two, you get a, a plus two bonus to a roll in the future for the skill challenge. Oh. oh. Wait. It was my we, door. I just asked you to open it. Does that mean that one of them is being sacrificed? The, the party gets a plus two bonus. <laughs> we start with the party. smallest one and work our way up. The party gets a plus two bonus. <laughs> and plus two. All right. Oh, somebody's off by two. So, Sarsaro. So there's still two goblins left? No. No. Or the right goblins where are where you basically are. gone. I mean, you don't have to spend your time killing them if you don't want to. They're effectively eliminated from the fight. Well, sir... Hunted two of them in the head. I mean, will I, will I not get to do a skill if I take a swing at a goblin? Is that the? You can kill a goblin if you want to kill a goblin. I you turn want your to say, on first? you've been. <laughs> and then I, yeah, I stab a goblin. Okay, it it explodes. Twitches. And let yeah, me yeah. Stick a giant <laughs> fork in it. That goblin's done. <laughs> you know what happens when a goblin gets hit by the lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. <laughs> Boo. Never mind. That goblin's now a PC character. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, roll a d10 for me. Uh, d10. All right. Jeez, there's something. Three. I mean, that was something. Three. Um, Medicine. No. <laughs> Religion. So this is, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to give you a pass on this one. It was an acrobatics check, which technically would have been a physical skill. Okay. I'm going to go with religion instead. So this is a moderate religion check. Oh, man, that's still pretty rough. So this is DC 15. <clears throat> I'm going to use this already. Did, I, you don't you want to roll We first? do have two failures. Don't yeah. I have to? No, you roll. No, you can roll and then catch You can roll them. and then shoot. Oh, I thought I, thought yeah. I had to just know yeah. what the challenge was. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotcha. I mean, you should have a pretty beefy religion, right? You would it's think, as a cleric, yeah? it's, int. it's int. Yeah. It's not But you're proficient. Yeah. But he, just gets, he just gets proficiency. Yeah. Well, I'm trained. Mm. Oh. So that's 15 minutes? I'm at 19. So. Okay, so you <laughs> pray for good fortune and a positive outcome, <laughs> get a and you get a plus two bonus on your next check. Excellent. I'll take it. Yeah. Also, we, uh, we opened up a new community center. <laughs> it's in his bakery. Yeah. <laughs> Sirk, what are you doing? I'm really oh, small um, for wayward orphans. Yeah. Rolling you a know. d10. My, yeah, I'm Currently on fire. One. Hey. One. Okay. One is an athletics check. It's a moderate athletics oh. check. Oh, this is yeah. going to be this, the worst for you. Oh, wait. Before you make that roll, make your con save. Oh, okay. To keep oh, to 20. 20? 20. 20 will keep you raging. <laughs> yeah. Now you can, what if I keep now you can make this athletics to... check in advance? Yeah, well, doesn't, it, doesn't do. he just make a normal athletics check? Because it would one. have been a disadvantage oh, with advantage. Right. Disadvantage, Thanks. advantage. What if I yeah. Yeah. Also, there's a uh, there's pop quiz tomorrow. Oh, sweet. Pop uh, quiz hot shot. 18. Okay, you make it. So this again is a, another building collapse. Uh, apparently, the buildings just aren't made for a oh, wow. massive red dragon. Uh, so you uh, make your way through it. In this case. You just bust through a wall <laughs> and it's <laughs> open on the inside. Oh yeah! And it leads What's leads the through, so you can lead your team through twice. this collapsed building. Pretty good. Well, okay. Uh, Bizago. Do I see a tail or anything with my? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Just as you just as you walk through, there's a giant red tail. <laughs> Are we within Seven. 120 feet of the red dragon? Seven. Part of it. I hope not. Wouldn't we be in a spirit aura? 
Or mm -hmm. does that not have a fear or an FIV? This is a perception check. Okay. This is hard. All right. I don't know anything about dragons in the fifth edition. They do have a fear aura. I'm not using it currently. <laughs> well, would you look at that? <laughs> First lucky use of the night. A DC 30 fear check. Oh, not going to okay. roll that natural <laughs> one. I have a, I get to add a D4 to that. We're soon for being a colossal You dragon. saw it's that. Not, I saw that. You not th th what is twice. that? Twice. Oh, really? Twice. Another natural one. Loaded die. <laughs> You're supposed to get the ones that roll 20 more. Thank you. Yeah, you're not supposed so to have you get? the ones that roll once. Uh, I got 20, some cheater die. It's got 22. two ones instead of 22. one. 22, okay. So you <laughs> search through um, the smoke and fire to find an alternate route to escape. So as, as he's leading you through, you um, happen to see a better escape route out of the dragon's path. I, uh, while I'm looking, uh -huh. like, I'm looking and I almost have an eye sock into one pike that's sticking out and I'm like this and then I'm about to land into another one but then like a gust of wind comes out and it spills and then I'm like oh hey look there's where we need to go right there yeah, guys. right there all right yeah so um, and then as a bonus action I will give somebody a plus who's next uh, that would be Xenos yep. Xenos yep uh, I'll I'll take I'll take the damage to give him a, a bonus oh, oh okay yeah all right uh Come on, one. That is six damage. Oh, so I take three damage. So right. three damage. Take uh, one damage. Hey! Oh, use the rest of my word. Is gone. My word's gone, yeah. Nice. Okay. Just cast shield again. So Xenos, as you yeah. as you're That'd walking through the um, the burned out building. Yeah. Uh, and spilling out onto the street again. Mm -hmm. um, you happen to see a group of hobgoblins. Um, and they're marshalling more goblins um, along the street. Okay. So I'm gonna ask, why don't we move you guys down a little bit so that we're using the full length of the map. Um, and I need 12 goblins on the map and then these three Jeez. hobgoblins. And be sure you, you put them in a nice, good Yeah, I'm gonna put them in a line. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking a square, but Can you put okay. them in like in a 15 so by 15 cone? Where would you like it? Five by five. Uh, just How down a little bit. And then if you could put you on one side of the cone and me at the other side of the cone. Yeah. And we'll just so play Pong Thunder Wave. Yeah, let's let's do so. Okay. Let's have the hobgoblins and the goblins on the bridge, oh. and then we'll we're fighting on the bridge. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Group them up in the middle of the bridge. No, just, oh, yeah. Just spin the cannon. You're gonna grease them off the bridge. Yeah, I am. <laughs> goblin, goblin. More goblins, this more bridge. This guy is here. But this goblin actually climbed all the way up oh, there. Oh. A goblin. He's got like the Xenos there you go. thing going on. Okay. That's the prettiest goblin. This guy's fighting this guy over here. Okay. Hmm. Also, Whoa. Um, is anybody healing Sir, or is he just? I'm gonna drink a potion. Okay. He hasn't asked me for a healing potion yet. For a healing. Yeah, I don't pirates. magically touch people until they tell me they want to be magically touched. Yeah, there's consent <laughs> Remember issues. kids. What about good touch, magically bad touch? <laughs> I mean, it depends on whether we had a previous known arrangement. So one of the things you no guys notice as we kind of get set up here um, is that there doesn't seem to be a delay in uh, Rosun's breath weapon. Like, in the, dragons, the dragon that you fought in the past, uh, he sprayed acid once, and then um, there was several rounds that happened be between. Uh, Rosun doesn't seem to have that problem. He can just breath weapon all day long if he chooses to. Um, He's an adult. He is a big dragon. So, um, Xenos, you see some hobgoblins marshalling goblins across a bridge. Grease. You're going to grease at the, the front side of the bridge. Yes, now, where those four are standing, all now, nice and clumped up like this, that. Is the bridge that you're going to use to cross the river here? I've got misty step. That's fun. <laughs> All right, great. Okay, so you grease them. How many? How many saves do I need to make? Uh, four. Four. Okay. <laughs> DC sixteen. Okay. Do this. The goblins make good sense. I mean, they they got they got a high dex, so good. they're they're certainly gonna do well here. Uh, All right. Grease only lasts for a minute. Goblin, goblin. Do you want to stand there for a minute? Uh, well, I, I believe <laughs> if you go back to some of the earlier episodes, the grease is also flammable. Oh, interesting. 
Uh, so what been was set. it? It was DC 60? Yes. Okay, so the first two goblins make it just fine. Damn it. 20 and a 21. Okay. Uh, the third goblin got a 10. Okay, so um, he's falling. I, I'm going to have and him then... make a a reflex save, or a dex save to grab onto the bridge. Okay. And he doesn't, so he falls into the In bridge. The water. So why don't you go ahead and take him off the map? Okay. Because he's not going to be able to climb back and out. And then is there a... There's a hobgoblin. Goblin? Okay, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I'm rolling the right thing here. Uh, the hobgoblin... Yeah? Got a 19, so he's fine. Jeez. Wow. If they move... If they move, they've got to make the save again. Okay. So that is Xenos. Foxfire. Um, goblins. Mm-hmm. I can get, can I get closer? Did you take favored enemy goblins when you made your ranger? <laughs> yeah, yeah. goblinoid. Yeah, nice. nice. Then you get you all get of between them. Two nice. Of them. I can get between two of them? Yeah, if you want to. Well, I was going to say, I could try to get towards the bridge and try to clear off the bridge, but they're standing in a pile of grease, so I don't want to do that. There's a lot of grease there. Because I got that. get up to here. Okay. <laughs> um, then, yeah, put me in front of the bridge, in front of that goblin that's right there. Like that? Yep. Okay. okay. And, uh, you can get around the goblin if you want to, up towards the house. Sure. So yeah, from there. In the way of the bridge. Yeah. And nothing can sneak up behind you? Nope. And I'm just going to... Well, you've got my, uh, you've got my old sword, so... Behind this oh, well, it's behind this So, just going to take out the old, uh... Yeah, he's, he's off. He came to the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take a big old sword. Okay. And just chop away. Okay, make your attack. Mm -hmm. You're attacking a hobgoblin or a goblin? Goblin. 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 Twelve. Are you sure? Twelve. You can't use a bow or anything. Going to miss. Mm -hmm. Goblin does have a uh, shield, Ranger. so he manages to Ranger. to deflect it with his shield. Um, okay, so that would be the hobgoblins. So the hobgoblin that is closest to Foxfire is going to move up and attack him. Okay. And this is a 15 versus your AC. That just hits it. All right. So. Yeah. Rangers don't have heavy weapon or heavy armor proficiency. Dude. Uh, that's eight damage. Um, damage. Uncanny dodge, take half. Oh, look at that. There Rangers go. can uncanny dodge now. Yeah. Did they just so. add that in like a patch or something? Drugs I don't remember that. So four damage. The hobgoblin on the. The bridge. Does in he the have to? Spot? He's in a. Di he's got difficult terrain. Okay. To move out of the greasy spot. Okay. It's at the end. If he ends his turn there, he or he enters it, then okay. he has to make. So he's going to move out. So he's that's... got a, a thirty foot movement. So okay. he's going to try to move towards. Um, Foxfire as well. Twenty. Not the guy with the glowing eye. Thirty. Gets into the bottom of the of the. And uh, the glowing eyes. Eyes. Is that you there? Yep. Okay. So yeah, he can get to. All right. So he's going to make his attack. Um, mm. and he has an adjacent ally, so he if he hits, this, will, this is going to go well. Um, but a 12 does not hit, so it does, does not, not go well for him. It's good that you um, tank all these. The first. other, yeah. the other Rangers can tank. He's on the far side of the bridge, so he's going to take out a longbow. And he's going to shoot at Sarge oh. Rangers. The guy with the glowing eyes. And the Wait, glowing this guy over trident. here who's fighting the guard? Well, uh, he probably knocked out the guard. Yeah. He kicks the guard into the bridge, <laughs> uh, into the sewers. <laughs> nice. And then he fires his longbow at Sarsarel. And that is a eight. Is an eight? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he would have been able to make the shot if he'd moved a little further along the yeah, bridge. He well, just he moved decided not to spot. because there's grease there. <laughs> he doesn't know that. He, he does there. know that. He saw his friend fall no, into the... No, tr trust me. He's fine there. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, he's, the whole he can thing stay is there. covered in grease. It's Sarsarel? disgusting. Uh, well, now I don't know if I should attack that guy. I don't know why uh, can I say something? Yeah. Leave that guy. All right. So <laughs> he's in the guy trouble. That is closest to Cirque, I guess. Okay. There's a hobgoblin. Yeah. Yeah. He's two, three squares away. From three me. squares? Because they're both adjacent to Foxfire. There are all yeah. three of them. Two yeah, hobgoblins and a goblin. goblin. Well, I mean, I could just take out the goblin easy, but we'll work on Why the Why don't you call lightning on the goblin? I'm going to call lightning on the hobgoblin. I figured you would. He has to make a. DC 15 reflex save. What is dex, dex the save half damage? What is the half damage? Yeah. Uh, nine. <coughs> okay, so he has to. He does have to make it because nine won't kill him. So he does not make it, but nine. So 17 damage. And he 
who gets fried as well. Okay. That guy, his eyes fall onto the, the ash and break oh, for man. a second before trying to catch them. <laughs> I didn't know Umberly was the god of cartoons. <laughs> uh, the goblins are going to make I mean, their way out the of. Mermaid, yeah. They're going to make their way out of the grease. These ones are. Yeah. Okay. They wish. So. So they'll move. They've got thirty feet of movement. All right. So half that to get out, though. Yeah. Right. So. How far are they going? Uh, they're going to use their 30 feet. So they've got what? 5, 15, 10, 25 15, for the guys in front. They can get to the 20. 20. Yeah. They can get to right there. They can get to right there. Okay. And then they're going to, if they're in melee range, they're going to make it melee they're range. They're not in melee range. They're going to make short bow attacks then. Uh, one's going to go against Cirque. One's kind of tripping them. That <laughs> is a 15 to hit you, Cirque. That's not going to hit. Nope. All right. How about a natural 20 to hit you? Yep. All oh, right. Shoot. Stirk is catching crits. Uh, that is max damage on the first die. Who's taking catch arrow? That is 9, <laughs> 11 damage. Okay. Am I still raging? Uh, why don't you make a constitution saving throw? Let me know if you're raging. Uh, 25? You're still raging. <laughs> uh, all right. But now that you're taking damage, you don't have to save, right? During combat, you right. don't have to save? Right, right. Um, 12 versus your AC is not going to hit Vizago. Xenos, 5. Mm. No. Who shot at me? Uh, I believe there's, there's like there were 11 like, goblins. Yeah, there were a lot of goblins. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Goblin, goblin? Two are going to shoot at uh, Foxfire. One is going to hit. I just okay. say that right That is 8 yeah. goblin. damage. Goblin, goblin? goblin? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's not how you say that. It's actually <laughs> goblin, goblin. Goblin. And then Scholar and Goblin. Goblin. Uh, Sarsarel is going to take a, a hit from an arrow. I am? Yeah. He's going to hit me? I rolled a 19, so yeah. Shoot. Uh, and that is six piercing damage. Is your mother How your far away is he? No, my he's oh. super close. I don't know. Um, well, that's he's unfortunate. One of the closer ones. Sorry if you haven't even talked about it's it. It's one two squares from you. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's got an 80 foot range. Well, I know, if it but it matters. Okay. Because if he's close, no, he's not close. Uh, if it's this guy, I I'll can I'll let you him. pick. I'll rebuke him. Okay. So. He has to make you? a no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. He just has to take. Uh, he has to make a reflex or a deck saving throw. Okay, I got a thirteen. Okay, so he takes. You get a hellish rebuke now. Not a hellish that rebuke. Seems like eleven yeah. lightning damage. He dies. So the arrow hits me, and then lightning bounces <laughs> like in the exact same path from him to me. Nice. nice. And then I need to make a concentration, like a. Is that a? Concentration yeah. check? Yep. Yeah. What is that? A con? It's, or it's, it's how much damage should I do to you? Six. Six. So it has to be a DC ten. DC ten. Yeah. And it's just a con saving throw? Yep. yep. Here we go. Come on. Can I use that plus two? No. Nope. No. Fifteen. Oh yeah. Seventeen. You're fine. So, yeah. Perfect. All right. So the lightning is gonna keep on coming, guys. Okay. I'm gonna go stand over here next to. Uh, oh, sounds good. And a couple of Ten minutes. Yeah. And it basically, I've taken control of the existing storm. So. Yeah. Natural one. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Which is still a fourteen to hit. <laughs> Which almost hits the scotter. Um, well, yeah. I'm going against the hobgoblin. Okay. So he accidentally hits the nose. Four. No. Twenty-four hits. Just okay. fine. <clears throat> I mean, he rolled a one. I'm not a goblin. It's <coughs> uh, exactly okay. what the goblin would so say. So that <laughs> the offhand hit him. But it would sound more uh, like goblin. Yeah. I'm not um, a goblin. Goblin, goblin, goblin. Yeah. Goblin, 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 but goblin, goblin. So 15 damage. Then. Okay. So you kill that guy. Oh. Yes. But so how this works is, as you're walking up, you step in some grease that the goblins have tracked in, and you're like, oh, and you almost fall on your face. And he starts laughing at you, and then you just punch him to death. <laughs> yeah. Zago. Uh, a crown of madness appears on this hobgoblin. Okay. Head. You can go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom throw. saving That's throw. Saving throw. Yeah, Spell I mean, he's got... 16. That's what he's looking for. Uh, ooh, 17 on the die yeah. roll. Oh, nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you want to roll that again? Totally. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to roll it again, but okay. But you do. How about an 11? Yeah, I'll take that one instead. Okay. Out of luck, everybody. Out hey. Of luck. You should post that build. Yeah. Uh, I actually looked it up. Someone did it. It's the same thing, but they took uh, Mage with Diviner, so they have the... 
Yeah, and two, if you do three. halfling, then you can... And then you do halfling, yeah. Oh, that's just broken. Yeah, it's a lot. I like it. A yeah. lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So he's and then, got a crown of mana on him. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, now this is the first time I'm doing this. I can bonus action a cantrip, is that right? Or is that a different thing? I remember you we were talking about this. But you can, if you cast a spell, it's, it's a bonus action, then your regular action can be a cantrip. Yes. But, but not a regular spell. But not another spell. Is a bonus oh, okay, action. okay, gotcha, gotcha. I didn't so know. So I can Misty those, Step though. and uh, Flame Burst, but I can't Misty Step and Grease. Gotcha. Right. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, well, uh, then do you want to do anything with your bonus action, though? You can... Not this turn. Okay. All right, uh, Xenos. Um, do you want a Misty Step and then Firebolt? Not really, no. Um, <laughs> So if I flame bolt here, there'll be fire that would throw off their range if they were going to shoot at me, right? No, I'm sorry, say that again. If I p turn the grease that is uh -huh. on the bridge into a fire. ball of fire, uh -huh. then the goblin that's behind here facing the guy with the you would have crown of madness, against them for he'd have a attacks. disadvantage on yes, attacks? Yes, he would, yes. Yeah. Okay. He'd have difficulty shooting through and, the flame. And what about the guy on the pillar next to the ball of flame? He's what are the odds that I'm going to cook him? He's going to probably take either a dexterity saving throw or take some fire damage. All right, I'll do that. So I'll flame burst okay. here. So the grease is now burning off. Natural one. So why don't you go ahead and do some fire damage to him? Okay. We'll just do the, the Should spell. I do it as though it's... Okay. Yeah. So that would be 14 damage. Okay, so you cook him. Okay. <laughs> But he was also going to fall off the pillar. <laughs> All right. He falls off into the water. All right. So the flaming goblin yeah. falls, and then, yeah. falls a, in. And, and then it bursts of steam. Yeah. Steam. Um, you guys. Xenos giggles. You guys yeah. happen to see um, a dragon head looking your way, FYI. Sarsarol, it is your turn. Oh, God. oh wait. No. I'm sorry. How, how close? Hobgoblins. Oh, hobgoblins. Um, wait, that 120 feet? <laughs> Uh, I mean, not that that's the range say, of Call Lightning. <laughs> let's say 200 feet. That was Zeno, so Fox Uh Oh, yeah, sorry. Fox yeah. yeah. Don't leave me out of this. I was um, going to do the hobgoblins that <laughs> were attacking you first, and then. The hobgoblins no, are all no, no, gone. No. There's two goblins in front of me. Oh, okay. Um, There's a hobgoblin back there. He's, he's, he's yeah, way yeah, back that's there. my he's character. character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Um, goblin. Still there. Right okay, in front of me. There. Okay. Slicing away. Right. That's uh, 18. 18's gonna hit. Okay. Do I get all the fun stuff too? Uh, not, not yet. Nope. You have to kill that one and then, and then get sneak attack. And okay. Then sneak attack. So da, 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 that's just. Attack. Huh? You, what kind of weapon are you using? Scimitar. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, no, but it is. Do you have a name for your scimitar? Is it Twinkle? No, it's, uh, <laughs> no, it's the, the Riptide, Riptide Cutlass, Cutlass because Cutlass. he's got my other one. Um, it gives you a vaguely Scottish accent. I was, was going to use the purple one, the purple dragon knight one. To yeah, my rapier that that I was bend, proficient with. Bend it around people. <laughs> no, I was going to use it to intimidate. Oh. Um, uh, he's going to take five uh, slashing damage. He laughs at your five slashing yeah, damage he's because gonna you do not kill him with I that. I rolled a friggin' one. Right on. I mean, as a goblin. Oh, sorry. Six, damage. but still. Oh, uh, well, still, you, you don't kill him. <laughs> this is when you use your uh, bonus action to kick him. He's like that monkey lizard thing. Oh, rangers were better with bow and arrow. And then his <laughs> gut starts yeah. spilling out because he's got one. Or great weapon. Or great weapon. Or can. Uh, okay, so, but our Aaron, rangers what is the hobgoblin on the bridge doing this turn? Uh, he's going to attack that goblin. He's going to attack that goblin? <laughs> yeah. All right. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. So he attacks the goblin. Sure he that... hits the goblin. Oh, that's unfortunate um, for that goblin. And... Um, he also does five damage to the goblin, <laughs> so he does not kill it. Um, and that is the last of the hobgoblins, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. So I would now like to use my bonus action to giggle slightly to myself. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sorry, I go slightly. Boom! <laughs> that one takes damage. Okay. Why don't you roll it? Yeah, he doesn't have to save. Okay, he does not have to save. He just dies. <laughs> so uh, it out. All right. So the goblin on the bridge is going to turn around and attack the hobgoblin. Oh yeah, he will. All right. He does. Oh, natural twenty. 
Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> if we attack him. Oh, if we attack him. Yeah, because so he's is... acting under my command. That guy's attacking him. That's Of course he's going to attack that guy. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> awesome. He calls him a traitor. Yeah. <laughs> and he... And I'm like, God, God, God. God. <laughs> Oh, you extend the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So he does some damage. He doesn't do enough damage to kill him, no. but he does injure him severely. Well, that's that would good. Be that so wasn't funny if like the goblin that he attacked <laughs> kills a hobgoblin. Hobgoblins actually don't have that many hit points. But if uh -huh. a goblin kills a hobgoblin, that's like he becomes a hobgoblin. Does he get up. bigger? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how many goblins do I have left? Uh, one, two, three, six, two. including the one on the bridge. Okay, so they're gonna move in a circle, circ. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. He does get to make one at the end of his turn, though. So if you want. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah. No, he's going. Uh, he did not make. It. Okay. Oh. All right. So the first of the flanking goblins is going to attack you. Okay. Uh, that's a natural one and a fifteen. That's not going to. Fifteen's not going to hit. Um, and then another fifteen. So the other one's not going to hit. Um, one is going to give. The help action to his friend oh, so okay. that he gets yeah. advantage. It's very helpful. Um, the, again, the 15 is the highest <laughs> of the two. And then one last guy. I got one last guy, right? Yep. All right. That's an eight, my friend. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so there is just a melee where goblins are just jumping on Cirque and po dog piling on him, and he kind of gets hunched down a little bit, and then it's your turn. Does anybody have yeah. an area of attack? Spell that they can drop on me, because that would be fun. Uh, I mean, I could be Shatter, but Ooh, you can I could do a tidal thing. wave, but <laughs> I get I get advantage. That oh, that doesn't do any damage. I feel like it's kind of a waste <laughs> of a level three right spell. Yeah. So okay, I will punch. Well, they're all in contact with it, so they all punch the go. goblin that's. Um, I think it's wounded against the building. So okay, can you do stabbed. one damage? Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. <laughs> Seventeen hit him. And Seventeen hits. Okay. He and dies. Eleven. He dies. Okay. <laughs> so now he you can twice. move away from that guy and stab that one on your turn. Okay. Um. All right. So that's one. You're punch. gonna keep keep going. How many punches do you have? Oh, he gets three, I punches. Get three punches. Okay. Uh, the one that's on the bridge. So uh, this will keep people from flanking me. You wish. Eighteen to hit him. Eighteen hits. Okay. You kill him. How do you kill him? Do you punt him off the bridge? Um. I'm or do you punt him through the fire? I'm gonna punch his head okay. off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna grab the body and then use that as an improvised weapon. <laughs> weapon. To make hit your the next one. Make your roll. It's a uh, it's going to be a D eight. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Goblin corpse is a D eight. Yeah. Uh, so that's a 25 to hit the next nah, goblin. The next <laughs> goblin. Right. Good. He looks surprised <laughs> at this turn of events. He thought that they had you. Oh. There was a bunch more of them than there was of you. That's only eight damage. To him. Oh, you kill him too. <laughs> so you swing the headless goblin into another, and it just shatters his rib cage, and he just kind of crumples in. And now you can't best. tell which one doesn't have a head. Yeah, I'm do my best, like, the whole, just <coughs> screaming at the other two goblins. The other two goblins are intimidated. I'm not going to need... That's a 17. Yeah, they're intimidated. <laughs> Vizago. Oh, my God. Um, ba, 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 ba. I think Cirque was asking for a, um, uh, an area effect, effect spell. On... There's only yeah. two goblins There's now. only two goblins. <laughs> and there's three that's, targets. So that's fun. It also takes a, a normal uh, turn to keep up Crown of Madness. So oh, no that's right. Um, but what I will do is, so I'm going to keep Crown of Madness up, and then as a bonus action, I'm going to give, let's see, if we go, I can yeah. do it on my turn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking I'm trying to, damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Out of 87. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give, <laughs> I got some you have a bonus, you have a bonus, you do not have a bonus, and you do not have a bonus. I, I don't have a bonus. Yeah, you do. Uh, you have a plus five on the skill checks. Oh, okay. Uh, when we do that, because I did the that's right, that's right damage for you. So between the two of you, who thinks you need more help with checks later? You? Okay, I'm gonna give you a D8 <laughs> inspiration. Back. All right, so that's it. Uh, Xenos, you're up. All right, so now you're gonna thunder wave, right? The, <laughs> no, the two goblins that are left. Yeah. Um, 
Is either one of them standing next to a burning building? Yeah. One so, can I control flame and just move the fire into sure. one of the goblins? So Make one of the goblins. Check. All right. It's going to cause uh, deal two d six damage. All right. Well, that would be a twenty one on my yeah. Arcana check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, that goblin takes a whopping four fire damage. All right. He is singed. And on fire, right? And, and no, he's just singed. Oh. Um, um. Yeah. I'm sort of in the way of him, though. Yeah. The, he can have, <laughs> the have magical can, nature of this. I can control <laughs> fire, right. so I can Woo! manipulate it over you, give you a you know yeah, just, fiery well, wreath well, around your head. Down from up here. And it says, like, Xenos rocks on it. Uh, yeah. Fire, what are you doing? Um, the one that fire. is now on fire. Yeah, yeah clearly. <laughs> You're manipulating scary, primal forces. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, so you, oh, yeah, I can step back behind him. Take a step yes. here. And I'm going to attack him with my scimitar again, and then get my, if and I can... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Flanking. Oh, don't, don't even need it. Uh, 24 to hit him. I mean, you are 24 good. hits him. This and then... Yeah. Nice. Yeah, poor goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Did we really... Uh, do, do, do. Uh, that's 16 damage. Oh, he dies. With, they didn't help. With his sneak attack. The just goes, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right out the mouth. Yep. Uh, anything else you're doing? You move around. Uh, I do a little dance. No, I moving. show a little love. I can moving. keep moving. You only oh, need I'm five, five feet. Good yeah, I'm gonna take my other thirty feet and get up on the bridge if we can oh. get through the flames. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity <laughs> saving throw. Well, oh. Grease is gone. Dude, you Not could. All of it. it burned he, up. He, Nin he, nineteen. I thought you said that for a minute. Uh, nineteen, you make it. Not if I burn it up. <laughs> it's magical grease. It's my one thing, Doug. <laughs> Using your own spells against you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to use your hobgoblin against the goblin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to make an attack against Wait, the goblin. It's just one thing. Yeah, it's my one thing. <laughs> uh, that was Foxfire. That was Foxfire. Okay. And then, oh, then oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the hobgoblin hits him. Okay. Yeah. And he doesn't. I don't have to roll because he kills the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> the minimum damage. He's laughing goes now. <laughs> um, all right, Sarsaro. Uh, you take 14 damage. No, I mean, you, uh, you're a healed for 14 damage. Call I on move him. adjacent. <laughs> you, you just call you in. I move up to my, my brother. Okay. You heal him. heal him. Is there still a goblin there for a Yeah, yeah. there's a goblin there. There's Shoot. A goblin. He, there won't be for long. All right. I can't call lightning and heal you. The goblin goblin just is, runs away? Yeah, he's going to disengage. Um, okay. And then he's going to jump into the sewer. <laughs> okay. I don't think we're chasing him unless you want to blow the horn. Is that it for the goblins? Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> Yo, there's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> but go so chase anyway, the you goblins. Guys can what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh no. <laughs> With advantage because that's how it sort of rolls. Twenty-three. Okay, make it. All right. I'm sorry, um, you slip and fall. <laughs> I'm going to slide up the ramp <laughs> and into him. Yeah, that's fair. You're just now covered in fiery grease, too. <laughs> fiery yeah, grease. but it that makes you... adds like to that's... the mystique. Yeah, effect. your muscles look great, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, they really so define. So 22 to hit him? Uh, that hits. Oh, uh, that's only a 14. Like Did you do two damage? Oh, that was That's what that goblin had him down to? <laughs> Dude, the wow. goblin did a good <laughs> hit. Uh, <laughs> 14 damage to him. Okay, he dies. Okay. Epic battle. <laughs> All right. Okay. I always We're remember you have that. Do I still see a dragon head looking at me? Yeah, so the dragon is now, it appears to be heading your way, actually. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, guys, we got gotta go. Now. So, Vizago, I need you to roll a d10 for me. Oh, good. Nine. Nine, okay. So this is a hard arcana check. Will his breath weapon put us from here? Hmm. <laughs> hard. Is that a DC 20? Oof. You have a plus two that you could use. You can Do use I have a plus two? two? Yeah, we still have the group. Oh, that's right. What yeah. are you at? Guess. 17? 18. 18. No. 18? Oh, they use it. Yeah, no, I use it. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh man, I All wish right. I had a thing. So, 
Um, as you're kind of looking around, um, a gout of fire comes from a dragon's mouth, and it hits the street just as you open a door that that leads the party into um, a abandoned warehouse. Um, it is made of stone, so it it's warm yeah. in the in the stone building, which is now effectively a, a clay oven. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what you guys are saying. I think it, I think it's fine in here. Uh, as you look mm-hmm. behind you, your party members, uh, the the crew of the Tempest Temptress, make their way in. The baker uh, baker and his children and wife, they get cooked because Bummer. that's the plus two. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, I was asking, are we sacrificing <laughs> for the plus two? <laughs> Evidently we are. Yeah. <laughs> Evidently you were. Uh, but, you know, Vizaga's just going to take one for the team. He's going to slowly close that door and say, they got out, guys. Don't worry. Now, here is the question. Uh, yeah, go ahead, make your perception check. The circle wants to complete this. Well, I rolled a one, oh. so that means it's a 12. <laughs> On oh. insight. Yeah. I rolled a two, so that's a well, I rolled a one, so I believe. <laughs> here's here's they're, the question. They're, I don't bother. Because he's he's like a little choked up, so he's like they're they're fine. It's, it's all good. Do you want to take a little bit extra damage to sacrifice yourself and give somebody a bonus? I do. All right. Um, and uh, you have a D8. Uh, you're mm-hmm. the only one who doesn't have a thing, so I'll give it to you. All right. Okay. So that is after your resistance, one damage. Whoa. Woo. So now I hope um, you guys know that I'm tanking. I would <laughs> what? I would say that making your way through this warehouse is going to be fairly easy for you. So okay. you guys can make your way a little bit. Um, some Are there of any your... windows or anything? No, this is just stone building, which is actually beneficial for you guys. Sure. Um, nothing bad ever happens in abandoned warehouses. Right. But um, as you're making your way through, Instead of spending your actions to participate in a skill challenge, you might be able to heal injured party members if you want, if you wanted to. Well, I healed him for half of the damage he'd taken. How are you doing? He's I'm only good. A couple damage. I'm 36 out of 42. I'm down 12, but I've got 30 more. Okay. And you haven't taken any yet? No, I haven't taken any. Okay. Okay. I mean, I could heal him. Heal one. Yeah, heal him. Okay. Heal Lilith. I'm not Ranger. saying that the last encounter is going to be difficult, but you <laughs> may. Five. Five. I rolled a one. Okay. So uh, you make your way through this warehouse. Um, there are. How long a, does it take? Um, it takes probably five minutes. Yes. Um, and you you come out through open doors on the other side. The dragon doesn't. Rosun hasn't really. There's other easy targets sure. in mm-hmm. the open. Other easy. Well, targets. I was thinking, well, can we see where the dragon is after no, we open hard the door? Oh, yeah. How far away is he <laughs> yeah. at this point? There's all these he NPCs around. He's probably, uh, he's probably about a hundred feet away from you. Okay. Because the warehouse is fairly sized. <laughs> so what I would like to do is call lightning on him. Call lightning, not on him, because I assume that he would know that it came from me if I did that. Yeah. But if I call lightning somewhere away from us okay. and just call it um, to sure. a space. Sure, you can do that. A, a, uh, on the other side of where we are. Okay. Um, and distract him? To, like, to make him go that way. Yeah. How, Howard, is, is high or low good for you? High is good for me. Okay. So that's a 64 that there wasn't a family of peasants. <laughs> that I mean, I can't. There are peasants in a pirate hole, so they're bad guys. They're probably, they're probably bad. Probably deserve it. Just Famous like that uh, Baker family. I need Just like that Baker D10 family who is also smugglers. Yeah, four. You don't know how many four. crowbars were in those baguettes. <laughs> so this is a moderate survival check. You've seen this one before. Do you want to re-roll? Yeah. All right. Three. Three. Okay. So um, this is an easy acrobatics check. So this is okay. a DC 10 okay. acrobatics check. Okay. Um, you got this. Make I know. Your, make your roll. Because right. you're a rogue. I know. <laughs> exactly. That would be oh. a 22. Okay. Wow. So a burning building yeah, on your I'm right druid. explodes unexpectedly. He's a ranger. He's uh, a rogue. You managed to, I got to oh, dodge out of the harm's way without being burned. Um, you know, I can control <laughs> flame. <laughs> you could monk. control flame, but it's unexpectedly, He's a wizard. as it says in the thing. <laughs> oh, lightning mm. <laughs> uh, So you make your way. That's another success. 
Yeah. All right. <laughs> I was tracking the line, yeah. I I got a I got oh, a no. counter over here. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up too. Uh, okay. So, uh, Eric, what's Foxfire doing? You rolling a D10 for me? Yep. Yeah. One. A one? Well, we've seen that one many times, so we're going to move on from one. Go ahead and roll it one more time. Two. Two. Okay, so this, this is an athletics check. <laughs> I can make athletics. Um, it is easy. Great. So that's DC 10. 19. There you go. Okay. So it, as you're uh, making your way through the streets, um, a section of street collapses, uh, dropping into the sewers below. Um, and you managed to jump across it without difficulty. Because, um, you know, rangers jump. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And um, it's true. Rangers have rope, right? So you can <laughs> yeah, pull I can. out rope and toss fashion it back to you. <laughs> yep. Mid jump, fashion a little lasso, grab on. We all read swing. the memo, right? Yeah. We all have at yeah. least 50 feet of rope. <laughs> yeah. Yes. At least 50 feet. At least 50 feet. Sorry, Terrell. 51 feet. Uh, I guess I'll yeah. roll it. <laughs> But I like to take a foot off and keep it for luck. Did you ever add a rope? No, we roll that because it was in the bag. <laughs> Eight. Eight, okay. Just roll it in the bag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, this is roll a perception two. check. Okay. Easy. Okay. I look around. Yeah, Wait, don't step there! I shout. Where's a 13? Okay. Or no, a 16, let's say. 16 total? Yeah. Oh wait, did I say easy? That is not a that is not a is failure. It? Why would that be a failure? I have just For easy, it wrong. sixteen would have made sixteen a moderate. Makes it just fine. <coughs> so as you're passing through the streets of Emmerich's Hold, you look over and you spot um, a oh, very definitely. nice magical item in a shop window. Oh really? Yeah. Do you need to make up sure? <laughs> I look at my party. What would Zeno do? Uh, I think I feel like looting is the right thing to do because it's gonna just get destroyed otherwise. Yeah, It'd be a waste. Yeah, clearly. Time to surf yep. and go through the window. Do you like all the neutral characters talking to the good character? It would just go to waste, really, if you think about look, it. We can use it to there. fight the evil dragon. <laughs> yeah. So while he's looking yeah. at the party, um, yeah. twenty-six sleight of hand to take it. It's in a window. It's, uh -huh. The uh, window can... remains unbroken. So you, you can. Oh, it's quite the sleight of hand. <laughs> so you, you manage to um, break the window without making a sound. Um, and then, well, I mean, it's noisy all around us. Yeah, but you're not attracting attention from yeah. maybe goblin raiders oh, or anything like that. So That's fine, guys. Don't worry. I call about lightning it. on the window. And mage hand the <laughs> magic item. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I don't have slots for this. <laughs> I'm just going to take this anyways, and then we'll figure out where it goes. I don't know, but we got to keep moving. <laughs> yes, we do. And I can do this from six, like 60 feet away, so okay. let's let's go. Keep moving. <laughs> uh, Mike. Is he summoning the magic <laughs> item behind us? Yeah. Slowly catching up. Making a D10? Yeah. Two. 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 Seven invisible turns. All right. <laughs> so this is an acrobatics check. <laughs> it's easy. It. You got this. I get a plus five from you. Yeah, and you can decide that after the roll, too, if in case you roll fantastic. Well, with that, I need to check something real quick. But I'm going to have to use a plus five okay. either way. Okay. What are you checking? I'm checking to see if um, the barbarians, like, I get a bonus to my. Um, skill checks, but I don't know if it's... Oh, your rage has gone away, by the way, too. Okay, so it's just saving throw, so I get to be here. Okay. So um, you use it? Yeah, so I, it's an 11. Okay, you, you make it. I rolled a 3. So, a uh, burning building to your left explodes, and Whoa. you manage to... <laughs> manage to deftly move aside so that you don't take any uh, the brunt of the damage. Uh, Zaga. Cool. Oh, and I will use my bonus action to get some. Five. Oh, okay. I would appreciate that. I'm, I'm going to give it back to him. All right. Thanks. So this is a medicine check. Now, this doesn't actually go towards the skill challenge. 
You can optionally reroll if you want to. But um, you could also treat an ally's wounds, which Cirque just took two damage. Um, <laughs> I'm down to 85. Oh, you can um, you can treat an ally's no. wounds for two d six dam two uh, d six healing um, if you want to do the medicine check, or you can reroll. How is everyone doing? I only I'm seven and I'm maxed out. Okay, I'm down six. So, is anyone down more than like six? Nope, he's seven. No, are you okay. rerolling? Cool. Yeah, let's reroll. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, Juan. Juan. All right. Uh, athletic check. Moderate. Sweet. That I can do. Oof. You know, I almost fell. And then I rubbed my <laughs> dice a little bit. <laughs> I think you keep them in your hand when you're walking down the I street. do. <laughs> yeah, that's in much better. Pocket, in his hand. I don't think that's PG. 21 athletic. 21. Jesus. All right. So. From a what? Um, 5 to a 17. <laughs> So at this point, um, Emmerich's hold is pretty wrecked. Um, and as you're making your way through uh, kind of an alleyway. It cuts um, to like an Assassin's Creed like shortcut and I like cut a rope and go up. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, and you manage to make your way past the collapsed <laughs> building that is collapsing yeah. as you make your way through it. Oh. Hey, there was only one rope. And then, and then I, and then I go, jerk. What's that? Oh, no. Someone take this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I grab it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. saw it. It's another wand of wonder. <laughs> You've got two now. Oh, oh boy. my god. The dueling wands. <laughs> Circle go nuts. Just butterflies and lightning. You should give one to, uh, to Foxfire, because rogues can use items as a bonus action. We don't but have he's a rogue a in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so Xenos, <laughs> this is on you, man. That's this on is me. On you. All right, so we're rolling a d10. D10. Oh, and I'm sorry, as my bonus action, I'm giving you a d8, by the way. Oh, thank you. Right. So that would I rolled a one. We've we've seen that one. Go ahead and reroll. Okay. Yeah. How about a nine? Have we seen that? Nine. This is an Arcana check. It is hard. Okay. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So um, I'll ahead. go ahead and do that. That the wizard got that. Yeah, so that would be a 17 plus the 5 is 22. 22. So that is that makes two it, above it? what you needed. Okay. Nice. So I don't need to roll the so D8. You yeah. control so you the flames D8. that. that of course I control the flames. <laughs> burst through the alleyway that you're walking through. Oh, yeah. They, and I make you a manage Zenos. to defend <laughs> your party against being cooked alive. Uh -huh. So off. the smoke clears. Big you realize you're now at the, the, ship. the yeah. um the port <coughs> mm -hmm. um the the sh tempest temptress is within your sight okay um you can see people preparing to set sail um okay. but because you don't have captain uh, remington in the party they it's it, they're it, waiting it's still waiting yes mm -hmm. um so the other thing you see yeah um as you will make your way through the wreckage of emmerich's hold you can hear roars of Rasoon. Somewhere off in the distance. However, just before you, panicked villagers scatter in all directions as a, a group of hobgoblin raiders make their way towards you, cutting down innocent bystanders um, as they attempt to escape. Leading the way is a particularly burly hobgoblin encased in flame scorched iron armor. He issues um, he issues orders in a harsh goblin tongue uh, as they prepare for battle. So. This is these three, and let me figure out how many failures you have that adds to this challenge. Over in front of the ship. Over oh. in front of my ship. Yeah, because I assume they're blocking the path on the docks. This right. This dock's right over yeah. there. Yeah. So um, there are also two, um, three hobgoblins and two bugbears. Okay. With them. Well, so here's one the hobgoblin. The oh. And, then and they're not going to line up. How so many bugbears do we need? So How close are we, Shad? Two bugbears? About, about there is fine. Where I put Cirque? There's only 10 minutes yeah. up at this point. Yeah. So I would have to do it again. You would have to do it again. I don't know if we can do any of these guys. 
So for this, we're going to go ahead and roll initiative again. We'll just keep the order and top of the I'm order. Missing somebody. Okay. That's all right. I got a natural You're one. You're stuck. Does anybody beat a natural one? Uh, let me check. All right. I got a three. I got an 18. So I beat it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, 23. Shit. Okay. I really thought I was. We're re rolling initiative. Are we right? adding yeah. bonuses? We're adding bonuses. Oh, okay. So also 20. Oh, okay. I got a three then. 14. Night <laughs> 22. Okay. So you got a 22, not yeah. a 23. Yeah. So, uh, Foxfire, you are up first. Cool. You see um, the, the fellow with the axe and sword in the back. Yeah, the one that you're pointing to. It's supposed to be an to. axe and shield. It's not an axe and shield, Spider Man. Um, is is leading the party. He's basically rallying the group. Cool. Um, is he next to anybody though? Are we next? No, I, they're not. They're not. They were. No one's next to each other at all. Though? Yeah, that's the problem with the ranger positioning. No. And, and can you fix that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, sure. sorry. You guys took your hands off. They're the in a group. That, that's where they are. <laughs> Um, so but we what are you doing? ended up in a group, so that's good. Cool. Uh, so he's the leader? How did that happen? <laughs> Eric? I'm not going to get all the way up to him. He doesn't <laughs> know about Eric. grouping your allies no, together. No, 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 no. He's, he's been playing as a DM, yeah. so he's he groups all the party members together so he can fireball them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bugbears, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's bug well, at least uh, Xenos is protected, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're the we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. we're good. Uh, you know what? I'm going to move up to the Hobgoblin. Okay, do it. And... Attacky tacky. I'm gonna shatter right. Oh, twelve's the huge roll. Wait. Oh Bob wait. Goblin, did you want to roll a D8? Yeah, I'm gonna roll that, that D8 to with that too. I was like, ah, use that up. There hey, there we go. Twenty. Twenty. You hit. Great. Ah. Ah, I will uh, play the one big play the part of the okay. bard that gets angry and people don't use his inspiration. And then, do I? What's that? Is that the leader there? Oh, I don't no, have an no, advantage on the attack. One of the regular hobgoblins. So just normal. Well, and but you go before them. <laughs> huh? You go before them, don't you get advantage on? Fox, Fox. No. Oh, it's not. So the it's ten damage. No. Yeah, assassin's the one where you're like, ten hey, I do maximize. Okay, damage. you heard him. You heard him a lot. <laughs> He's I had him crate and maximize. Huh? Look at that. Is there anything else you want to do? Um. You moved. I you moved. Got a bonus action left. Ooh, can I use can I use the cutlass to blast water at him to try to blow him into the yeah, water? Action. That is action. Uh, that's full. Okay. You can disengage, right? Step back. Yeah. yeah. All right. You can disengage up to your movement. Yeah. How much did you move the first time? Uh, thirty. And you have how much movement? Thirty-five. Okay. So you, yeah, that's as far as you go. All right. Um. All right. So he's gonna step up to you. Get up. Set up. Stand up for his right. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Is that all? Do we have enough hobgoblins out there? We have three. He said oh, you need three? One hobgoblin and two bugbears. No, three hobgoblins. Three. Okay. Oh, okay. Just so. Put them next to the other guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, next to the other guys. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because they're going to move up to a. Um, Preferably. They're going to move, move up. up. Yeah. All three of them? Yep. Oh, cool. To you? Uh, yeah. I mean, why not? Hmm. Are you just going to tank? Yeah. All right. So. We'll see. 17 is going to hit your AC, right? It does, yeah. All right, and one more. Nope, just one hits. OK. Yeah, uh, but he's going to use his martial advantage. So he right. has an adjacent ally. So he's going to do some extra slashing damage. OK. And that oh. is 9, oh, well, 10 damage. Uh, uncanny dodge? Uncanny dodge for half. Five. All right. Uh, Sorcerer, you got oh, a group so of guys cool. crowded around. How's your concept? You're good. It's friend. a blast. Not that great. Is it a blast? <laughs> I think uh, Rangers have good concepts. Dexterity or intelligence is better? Is it a blast or a burst? Shatter is a uh, sphere. A sphere. How big is the sphere? 10 feet. You can so put it behind yeah. an M. I mean, I could hit. You could get. Oh, I could hit. You could put, put it back there. Put it back yeah. here and get two of them and get. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you put it here. 5, 10. Yeah, so you did that guy. Two, you know, two, two of the hobgoblins and the one yeah. the other guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So they need to all make a DC 15. Con save? Con save. OK, that's going to be not so great for the hobgoblins. That is a t 11, which is not going to save. 15, so the second one does save. Okay. Um, and then those are the aspirants. So they have different stats. All right. They both save. 
They do both save. Okay. Yeah. So, um. Does it shatter? Are they wearing metal armor or? Uh, yeah. So then they actually have, uh, do they have it? I'm just looking to see if the, okay. A creature of metal, yeah. okay, has this finish. Okay, so uh, basically a, the loudest sound that you can imagine uh, erupts from, drops. yeah. Erupts from, <laughs> I mean, it's loud stuff is happening all over the place. Yeah. That's what I figure. Yeah. Um, erupts from just behind the one hobgoblin who probably dies. Yeah, he dies. Because uh, <laughs> it is going to be maximized okay. thunder so, damage. So how much does that maximize? Uh, it is 32 damage. 32 so damage. You kill both the hobgoblins. 16 to the one. These two? Yeah, mm -hmm. these two. Yeah, you kill both the hobgoblins. Okay. Nice. Um, and the other two take damage, um, but they are not as injured as you would think that they probably should be. Oh, maybe even less than the 16s? Uh, no, they're just they're just doing fine, it seems like. They, they take the 16 damage, but they're doing fine. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so that is Sarsarel's turn. So the leader is going to walk forward. He is, is he? Yep, he is. <laughs> 40 feet. Ooh. He'll stop right around the, where he becomes adjacent with Foxfire. Okay. Yeah. Right around no, 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 there. No, 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 There you go. <laughs> it's important. It, it is. All right. You can hit him from there. That's where he wants to stop. I can still shatter again. So he is going to make a an attack roll against uh, against Foxfire. Did we take a short rest while we were in the There's warehouse? been no <laughs> short rest. No short rests were taken. <laughs> yeah. We've been So 19 for your AC? 19? Yeah, 19. it's. All right. So that is five, and 18 plus eight is 26 damage. Oh. Kaiju big battle. Hmm. He's no gonna take a long one. Nope, not on that no one. No one can dodge for you. Okay, uh, ouch. Ouch a lot, ouch. Yeah. Yeah, he makes the hurt. Um, Rangers really shouldn't tank. Apparently. So that's it for his turn. Uh, shipwreck. All right, so Shipwreck's gonna rage in and then move up to the bad guy, or the to the leader. Ding. The evil Addy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that guy. BBEG. This is uh, Bajok Skull Cleaver. He's got a name. He's got two names. You know he's tough. He's also apparently part dwarven. It's a compound <laughs> word. Orcs. So Orcs, does, uh, <laughs> okay. does a 25 hit him? A uh, 25 does hit him. Okay. I would hope so. Yeah. Uh, what about a 22? A 22 also does hit. Okay. And a 23. Okay. Uh, 23 does hit as well. All right. All three hit. It's, any, it's actually a 25 or up, and then a 22 and below. Yeah, so 14 but. damage for the first hit. <laughs> okay. 13 damage for the second hit. Okay, so 27. Was that 11 for the third? Is that Fox Fire? That's uh, yeah. 38. 38, okay. He weathers the storm. You're basically you're you're hitting iron because he's encased in iron, yeah. basically. Um, okay. And I'm just gonna keep denting it and crushing it. Yeah. In one and spot so that he can't like get out of it. It feels like punching a, uh, a statue, like okay. a bronze statue. Heat metal. Oh, hey, uh, whose turn is it? Fazago. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna cast heat metal at third level on his suit of armor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that requires a saving throw, if I'm, if I'm correct? No, it does not. No? It just happens. All right. <laughs> he has to spend actions to get out of the armor if he doesn't want to take the yeah. pain. So I'm standing at third level, so it's 3d8. Okay. Seven, two, five. So 14, 14 fire damage. 14 fire damage. He takes 14 fire damage. Um, is that the end of your turn? Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and give you another D8 okay. to use because you're surrounded by people. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, that's my turn. He's going to go ahead and spend a legendary action to attack Mike. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that is an 18 to hit Mike? Yep. All right. So this is... Uh, 12... 
12, 20 damage. Okay. 10 damage. All right. Xenos? So Xenos wipes a bead of sweat from his brow and flings it, and a tidal wave <laughs> erupts that goes that way, hitting this guy, this guy, and that guy. Okay. So they need to make a save. <laughs> Come on. That's great. No, that's fantastic. All right, so, so that it, it's a DC 16 save for the three. three. Okay. So he does not save. Okay. No, that was a good one. The aspirant in the Megan. back got a 17. Go. Yeah, I like that one a lot better. And the what? What saving throw was it? It was a DC 16. But what? De dex. Was it, dex? it was dex, dex. Yeah. Okay. So Sorry. the um. The big bad <coughs> just barely makes it. Okay, so um, the ones that failed take 15 damage okay, and, are knocked, and are knocked prone. <laughs> okay, the ones that um, Which one made the Let save How about take one? half the damage and are not prone. So, um, seven. seven. And then um, the water then spreads out across the ground in all directions, extinguishing any unprotected flames within 30 feet. And then okay. vanishes. So that guy is prone? The was guy it? next. Was it the guy in the back? The one in the back failed to save or save? They both succeeded. Oh, but they're, but they're still prone. prone. No, no, no. Right? no. If they no, can save, not. they're not uh, prone. No, no. They just take half the damage. So it sounded okay. like you said knock prone. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, it did sound like that. Because not prone, not knocked. Not, yeah, prone. I see what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry not, about that. You can prone. knock them prone if you want. I'll, DM's choice. Okay, so um, he is going to use uh, Lust for Battle. So he is going to have the Hobgoblin. Uh, the aspirant that's by the, the, yeah, he's gonna move forward and attack, uh, sir. Okay. And that is only a fourteen. So nope. he swings at you, but misses. He's just gonna move adjacent. Right? Yeah. No, he's not. He can move around. He, oh, he is. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's part of. I mean. Come on, Doug. Well, I mean, if they want to keep lining up. Then... Okay. So now it's the bugbear's turns. Uh, one bugbear is gonna go up and start swinging on um, Sarsaro. Why? Because you've got an open path to you. Oh. <laughs> and you're like five. That is a 23. That hits. All right. You. He. I will. <laughs> Hold on. He swings back his big morning star. So as the morning star hits my armor, lightning shatters. Uh, bolts back at him doing uh, 11 damage. Okay, and you take 8. Okay. That's a fair trade, I think. The other one is going to move forward and attack um, Visago. Okay. Rebuke. Does he look like he's got any regrets, though? <laughs> Hellish rebuke. I mean, he wasn't happy with that. That was the first time he'd seen that. <laughs> he might make different life choices in the future. Uh, that is an 18 versus Fazago's AC. Oh, he hits. All right. Maybe I'll what does he do? Twice before attacking the guy with a glowing dragon. He, um, <laughs> he's going to come up from under <laughs> just to try. and aim this no, morning glowing. star oh, at I your I never crotch. unactivated it. Oh. oh. Um, and that is 9 plus 2 is 11 piercing damage. Ooh. Well, I don't like him either. And that is it for them. Well, Fox actually, fire. it would be that it for him, but when he hits me, uh -huh. Bizago's eyes roll back and become red, okay. and he bursts into flames. Oh, you're going to rebuke him? Yeah. Hellishly. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like you. <laughs> but with fire. Uh, 20 uh, fire damage? 20. Wow. Oh, well, 3d10 really for Hellish to rebuke. Well, he's... His fur just goes. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know what a non fur bugbear looks oh. like. Oh! It looks kind of like a hobgoblin. Hey! That is hideous. Uh, he is significantly injured by that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Foxfire, it is now your turn. Uh, yeah. Um, hitting the leader, dude. Okay. Really nailing that Deadpool cosplay, though. It's yeah. uh, 19? <laughs> no. All right, then let's just go ahead and add this. How about a 26? 26 does hit. Okay, now that I'm adjacent to him with that sneak attack fun stuff. Get him me. That's good. 11, 12, 13, 18 slashing damage. 18 slashing, okay. And disengage. <laughs> and I'm going over here. Do you want to <laughs> you you go middle? over there? Yeah, maybe. Like, but, like behind him? Behind hey, him? Hey, hey. Let him go where he wants to go. That's fine. I'm just saying, Visago's like, do you want to come over here? <laughs> well, I'm going to make... Here. I'm going to make... Yeah. Good. So, you know, we're going to so make our way over there. 
flanking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, flanking was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because cool. he doesn't see, he doesn't see me coming, so yeah. I'm gonna sneak up on that guy. Behind. Okay, so you sneak up on that guy. All right, he be creeping. <laughs> be creeping. So the hobgoblins are gone. So Sir it's your turn. I think I'll disengage from this bugbear. Why? That's your action. No. That's your action. Oh, disengage. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're not a you're, you're not, not a provoke, ranger. You don't provoke movement or opportunity attacks from the movement. Though. Rangers yeah. who are actually rogues can use, use bonus actions, actions to disengage. Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, that's yeah. what's yeah. attacking. Maybe he's got a well, future as a rogue. I guess I'll just. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever considered passing okay. a rope? But it's kind of. Sir, what's your planning as a saving throw, right? Uh, this is. whole trip, just calling me a damn I ranger. I have a plus three, that, but I also get a d4 and an advantage. We met you in the and woods. Yeah. So if you make a save, you in the woods. You're super yeah. good at being in the woods. You still take half damage from that. Cover yourself in blood all the time. Well, like survival skill. No, because zero. <laughs> no, but I'm rage is only in bludgeoning, piercing, and in the woods. Slashing damage. But oh, okay. I'm going to take half <coughs> if I save. Right. But it's 40 Oh, yeah. Damage. Please don't kill Mike. That's fine. If anyone's got a potion. Just do it. All right. I could use some. I'm going to call lightning <laughs> and the two <laughs> half friends next to Cirque. Because it's a five foot. Yeah, it's a five foot. Right. Within five feet of the bolt. So the aspirant and the big bat. Yeah. OK. And what's the DC 15? 15 dex okay. save. Oh, yeah. I see. The aspirant fails. OK. And the big bad got a 16. He okay. keeps making those deck saves. Yeah. Oh, I made the deck For a dude clad in steel, he's pretty agile. Yeah, I was noticing that. Uh, so they take 33 damage if they did not save. 16? 16 if they did. Okay. And that is lightning damage, obviously. All right. What are the odds that there's any magical auras on my big bad? So that was Sarsarel, so well, now it is. Well, there's at least one going on It right is uh, heat metal. Bajar, okay. Yeah, yeah. Bajar, metal, metal damage on your turn. Good point. Turn. My turn. Okay. Is oh, going on. to um, <laughs> use his bonus action. <laughs> yeah. Damn. It's a great to, spell. Awesome. Uh, Call lightning last ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna use his bonus action to take a second wind. Pretty good. Oh no. Yeah. Of course he is. Second wind. Of yeah. course. You should hit him with some wind. <laughs> Knock him away. And then... Make him go bye-bye. He's going to slam... Yeah, he's going to definitely do that. Uh, so he's going to do a mighty slam. So he slams his axe into the ground, and it just creates spikes in a line that go from you past Doug. Wow. Holy Oof. smokes. That's cool. So both of you need to make constitution saving throws. Oh. My best save. Yeah, man. Oof. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a that would be the time. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, see? Yeah. There you go. Yep. Can I just say, on my inspiration dies, that's like three eights <laughs> on D8 so far. So, does a 16 come close? Uh, 16 is actually what you need, so you only take got, half damage. I got seven. Whoa! So that's good. So you take um, but this is nine piercing damage. Piercing. Okay. And then four thunder damage. And you are not knocked, uh, pushed 10 feet. Okay. So, Mike, you take the same. Yep. So, 13 damage. So, we have half the piercing damage. Right. Okay. So, that is what he did on his turn. If I hadn't been selfless with my ward, I would have taken that damage. And he is yeah. going to shift well, he can five move. feet so that. Yeah, or, he can move. Yeah, no, I mean, he's going to move, but yeah. he's going to move so that the aspirant next to him gets advantage on his attack rolls. Um, okay. And that is the end of his turn. Shipwreck it is now your turn. Okay. What? You're gonna move? What? Ah! <laughs> ah! Go. No! <laughs> <laughs> My perfect plan! <laughs> and then I'm gonna punch him three times. Okay. Or attempt to. Uh, 22. 22 hits. Uh, 32. 32 does not hit. <laughs> Sorry, I've gone around the Weird horn. How that works. <laughs> uh, 25. All three hit. Okay. You know, you put a guy with a 21 AC on the board, and you think he'll be fine. 17 damage for the first hit. Okay. Uh, 15 damage for the second hit. Okay, so we're at 32. Two. Yeah. And 8 damage for 40. the third hit. 40. Okay. Roughly the damage that he healed. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, all right. 
So he's going to take a swing back at you on oh. his turn. No. Or on your turn. He's uh, a that... Rude. <laughs> oh, God. Does 29 hit you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. Hey, I, if you're a 32 at him. <laughs> yeah. I have one wrap at this point. Wanna, so I that is crit. six. Yeah. Plus 12 is 18. Uh, 20 <laughs> slashing damage. So 10 slashing damage. Uh, Zago? I am at half. Uh, I'm first. I'm going to attack <laughs> this guy right here. Are the bugs there? Yeah, I'm I mean, gonna just roll with advantage. Put it out there. Flank out. Fortunately, you're close. That's good. No. Okay. So that would be. If he was closer to the water, I'd just drown him. Does <laughs> a and I tried drowning with a tidal wave. A sixteen. Actually, I need yeah, to check. I just hold him underwater. Just get behind him and hold him down. 16 does hit him. That's exactly what you need. Fantastic. 10 damage to him, piercing. Okay. Um, is that the bugbear? Which yeah, one yeah. was the one that took the 20 damage? That one. That one. That one. You yeah. kill that one. Cool. <laughs> that's so, Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's right. So I stab him, and then as I, I stab, so I take the cane, and then as I undo it and stab him with it, yeah. and then when, I had, when he falls on my cane, uh -huh. I turn the body towards him, and I go, and I spark his armor again. Okay. Uh, 10 fire damage. Okay. That's pretty low rolls. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's my turn. Xenos. All right, I'm going to tie away wave those two that are fighting Surf again. <laughs> so. You already used that spell. Use I can use it again. I got three third level spells. All right. All right, so it's a DC 16. Okay. So, five, 10. Well, I got bad news for you. Bajok only rolled an 11, but he's going to use the legendary resistance to uh, just throw all succeed. Yeah, to just succeed. Oh. Uh, the other guy got a 20, and the did you? No, nope, just the just those guy? two. Okay. Um, all right. So it was 17 damage. 17 damage. Okay. Or half that if they made their you save. You kill the aspirant that's oh, okay. was about to. He, so he gets so washed away in the tidal wave. Yep. Whee! 17 damage, you say? Mm hmm. Okay. Just move no, him off the board. Yeah, Chad doesn't board. think uh, he's yeah. got yeah. another guy. So yeah, there's yeah. another fire <laughs> aspirant that comes walking up. <laughs> Uh, all right. Because that has happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so how, is there a limit to the number of yeah. legendary resistances or saves that he has? Three. Okay, so at least I used up one of his you resources. Used up one. You, mm -hmm. yeah. He's used okay. two now, right? Or not? No, he's used legendary actions. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, he's going to go ahead and use another legendary action. <laughs> Thanks, Howard. He's, he's, gonna used, go ahead. he's used one already on this turn, right? Yeah, he's used one. So he's going to make another attack against you. As only... Uh, oh, wait. I forgot his plus 11. Um, 18? <laughs> yeah. All right. That would have missed me. Five. Oh, you come take him. <laughs> I'm trying 16. to get up to you. Uh, plus eight is 24. All right. 12. That's Xenos. Um, the other Fireforge aspirant, which I think I forgot about last time. He's yep. going to go ahead and run up. <laughs> He's just... How many squares Sorry, he boss. Move? He can move 35 feet. Uh, that's 25. <laughs> yeah. So he's going to make two axe swing attacks at you. Good. And the first is going to be a 19. The second is going to be a 16. So one hits, right? Correct. OK. You take nine damage, slashing damage. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wait. Too late, you, too late you take your finger off the piece. <laughs> He's going to use Brutal Efficiency to oh, deal some yeah. extra damage. Uh, so that is another eight. Is that, is that an action or a bonus action? It is just a trait. When Once per turn, he can deal an extra uh, 3d6 damage when he's got an adjacent ally. Ouch! Why did you have to put him adjacent? <laughs> well, it just has to be adjacent to you. Oh. Uh, Foxfire. Well, that's different. Um... <laughs> You, you know what? Flank the bad guy. I can. Yeah. I can. How many hit points are you at? Five. Ooh. How about you don't so do that? I was. I mean, I can move up, you try to attack him, and then points. disengage. How about you kill yeah, the bugbear? Yeah, he bug 26 bear. knocked me way, way down. Just kill that bugbear. Kill, bug kill the bugbear. Kill the bugbear. Yes. Shoot, Shoot the bugbear. Shoot. I think you should attack the big guy. Shoot. See, I was, <laughs> I was thinking because I can get up there and get my uh, sneak attack thing and then run away, but. Uh, 
Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna bugbear it is. You yeah. can thank it. That's a 20, uh, uh, 23 to hit the bugbear. That hits the bugbear, strangely enough. And do I? No, I don't get sneak attack on that. Yeah. You don't get sneak Not, attack. So I only get to roll the thingy. And seven. Okay. He takes seven. He's looking bad. And just for that, Bajok is like, I'm going to kill you. And he swings it. So he's done three legendary actions. Yeah, he gets three. Three uh, around? Around. And then resets on his turn. Three. He, he's a legendary creature. So he, I get punched four times. That's a broken-ass class. No, it's <laughs> it's a legendary creature. Uh, it's like we all need to be legendary after yeah, this. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> so that's... 22? 22. Yeah, 120 damage around from one monster. Well, I mean, not 120. Uh, you, we get two, two attacks on his turn. Yeah. Plus... Oh, no, he only gets one attack on his turn. Okay. So one attack so plus... He four, so he has four, four attacks. Mm -hmm. All 20... So well, 80 he could damage. do other things, too, but he's choosing to attack. Yeah, so he gets 80 damage around. Mm -hmm. yeah. 17... 17 damage. 17 damage, okay. How you doing? I'm at uh, about nine. Five. Our, our, our tanks over there aren't doing so hot. No, no. he's not a tank. Oh, sorry, 12. He's a tank. 12. Oh, you're doing much better. So I'm going to you So this, and that reset on his Take turn, the attack opportunity. Which is okay. before me. Which is after Sarsfield. The bugbear? Yeah, so he, he's going to kill me Am I still turn. adjacent to the bugbear? Sweet. Uh, there's yeah. another space there if you want to be adjacent yeah. to oh, Sark. Yeah. yeah. Is there really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Two spaces in between. Just take the opportunity. Take the I'll opportunity. Take the opportunity. All right. Take. Bugbear's taking a swipe at you. That is a natural one. Okay, he misses. All right. Uh, you get 13 hit points. Sweet. You're fine. Clerics are so amazing at healing. You're fine. Fine. <laughs> Yep. Okay, so it is now uh, his turn. And you hear, like, not the loudest roar that you've heard today, because the loudest roar won't uh -oh. start soon. What you hear is uh, a shout. Does anybody here speak giant? Mm, let me nope. check. I speak nope. Don't think so. As or abyssal. a fire giant charges through the smoke <laughs> and stands adjacent to that bugbear that just took a swipe at you. Uh, someone's here to kill you. And no, it's cool. He shouts to the sky as he brings down his two-handed maul on the bugbear. Does he just squirt it into guts? He does squirt it into guts. <laughs> <laughs> and then he looks at the, uh, the <coughs> other two hobgoblins and he says in giant, a, a ancient fire giant phrase which none of you understand but is come at me bro <laughs> <laughs> so um what's gonna happen here is uh the bugbear or the the bajok is going to move around you and he's going to attack the cleric oh he's attacking me yeah, yeah. because he can't move out of Right. His ranger will still get an attack of opportunity. So he's going to attack the cleric. Okay. That is a natural 20. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. All right. So he needs to make a DC 15 reflex save. Oh, no. <laughs> that is a 7. He does not make his All natural. All right. So he takes 9 lightning he damage. He takes 9 lightning damage. I bet he's really regretting that now. <laughs> yeah. Now, a question for you, Howard. Would you like me to maximize the damage or roll twice? I want you to roll... Twice. Twice. Okay. All right. Just so you know, max would have been 32. Okay. All right. So that is an 11. 16. Uh, 25. And 28 plus 8 is 36 damage. <laughs> I'm fine. So 36 damage times four around. If he crits, yeah. that's a crit. Oh, okay. Uh, shipwreck? So minus one damage die. <laughs> I have mm -hmm. a hit point left. Two. You have what? Two, 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 one. 
You only oh, this get is not such a good thing one extra us. damage die on a crit. Really? Yeah, you don't double the weapon damage. Oh, I thought it was double. No, you there just you add go. one more weapon die. Go ahead and add three more hit points. Wait, what? Yeah. You have four hit points. You have four, four hit, hit points. points. Not one. Mistakes were made. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, if it's a times ah. two, you <laughs> add one I mean, weapon die on top of it, not one whole set of like weapon almost die. Like four episodes Which is why a great sword again. only That's does pretty good 3d6 on the crit <laughs> as opposed to 4d6. Felt like it needed to be said sometimes. All right, so let's do a lecture. Make your attack. I think it's appropriate. Multiple times. Uh, 24, okay. uh, 30, and 31, yeah. But really, the, the important thing to remember is I'm totally fine. You're fine. I'm You're fine. You You're fine. I'm the champion of Umberly. So 13 die. damage. So okay. Uh, 15 damage. Okay. 8 damage. Thirty-six. So thirteen, fifteen, and eight. Oh, yeah. I gotta make a concentration yeah, attack. Okay. If I yep, roll a natural didn't. twenty, I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you didn't get the natural. Oh, lightning is gone. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Vizaga. Okay. You should move up and attack him. You should make him laugh. Crown of madness on him. Oh, crown of madness would be awesome. <laughs> How long is I that? I touch left? you. Yes. <laughs> Two, Just because you touch me six. doesn't mean I'm going to worship you. Seven, That's not eight, how it works. Nine, ten, plus like 18 hit points back to you as oh, I ask thank you, you for third channeling level. Umberly's power into my body. Um, he's going to go ahead and take an attack against you. <laughs> against me? Yeah. It's, it's not just, the end of my turn yet. Okay, go ahead and go ahead and keep going. Okay. Because I, it, also, so I also snap yeah. my fingers again. All right. Fifteen more fire damage to him. Okay. All right. So he does fourteen, eighteen damage. <laughs> That's a dick move. <laughs> <laughs> Seen us. All right. Um, Are you looking it up? I'm what, going. Legendary action? Yeah. 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 I'm going to. I'm just trying to see how it works. Hit that, the big guy with a flame bolt. Because I don't read sure. the monsters manual. Yeah. <laughs> or not. <laughs> that would be a 15 versus you to, to hit him. To hit the big I guy. I should start yeah. reading the no. monsters manual. Okay. <laughs> and then no, I misty step. Stat block. And misty step oh, way over here. No. Okay. <laughs> if you want to see legendary actions, that was one of them. Okay. So um, have Volgrum move up. How far? He's. He only needs to move up, yeah, right about there. He doesn't have to be adjacent. All right. He says, out of the way, Junior, and he makes sure to push Vizago aside, even though you weren't in the way. Vizago flips him off. <laughs> uh, and he takes a swing. And he hits. Now we get the heroic music for the uh, giant saving us. Saving our butts. He does a significant amount of damage. Uh, it actually puts Bajong to one knee. Um, and now it's Firefox's turn. Yeah, it's totally, Fox, he's Fox, totally Fox. doing it exactly as written. Yeah? Oh yeah, no, no, I just. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It's, well, uh, that's, that's how yeah, single no. creatures can take on yeah, a party. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, it's good to see this because reasons. <laughs> <laughs> no, no reasons. No, it's they use the the razor the razor. So he's down on down on one knee. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, uh, down on one knee. I don't even know if I risk going after him. How? Wait. Stab how ballsy do you feel? <sighs> he's down um, on one knee. You walk past. Sir, the hero. You pull your red <laughs> purple your purple dragon wow. knight sword from Cirque's back and you stab him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. Or he, or you just tidal wave him. Three extra attacks this turn. I mean, you tidal wave him. <laughs> I try to hit him with the, <laughs> try to hit him with the water. Yeah. Well, what the hell? We're not gonna get a chance to do it otherwise. No. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Do so, it. Uh, Move it. so yeah, he has to make a strength save, a DC 14 strength save. You title your. Using the Riptide cutlass. cutlass, yeah. To, does it do any damage or just not? Does it just hit him? I think it does. Once per day creates a blast of water that pushes opponent back 10 feet. It does not. Oh, it doesn't do any damage. Oh, that's you might want to take a swing. 
Just yeah. Right. Stab, stab him. And stab him with as flavor. Like blasts him. <laughs> in yeah. The I'll let you. Oh. 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 See, that's why you do it. Natural, natural, natural twenty-eight, 28 now, remember, to hit him. You don't get your. You, you don't, don't get three d twelve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I, just get three d twelve. No, Seems it's, uh, like it's enough. Yeah. Unless you're a barber, unless you're an orc and then you get an extra die. So it's a d six on that one. Oh, he was a hobgoblin. So. I don't think they get that. Do uh, I get double? Two d six. So you get two d six for that, and then you could have snuck attack him. Yes. Well, you so, can, you can you choose yeah. to maximize the damage instead as a player? Just saying, no, no. I was just I was just asking you. Oh, okay. So two d six and then the three d six. I better get another d six. Here, you can burn mine. Right. Taking the god of luck's d six. Yeah. Nah. It rolled a wow. That was yeah. terrible. Yeah. I've rolled way better without the. So that's so ten and fifteen. Okay. Damage. How do you want to do this? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm bloody and wounded and beat up, and I'm just short and sweet, taking this thing. He's down on one knee, and I'm driving it straight down through his shoulders uh, and just basically pinning him to the ground. Okay. And then giving a little <laughs> twist. <laughs> he lets it up <laughs> and falls prone, slides down the blade, falls prone. Um, um, when he does that, by the way, uh -huh. Visago whispers something, and then all of a sudden, Visago's shadow looks a lot like that guy's. Okay. Um, Just in case it comes. So his <laughs> hand falls open, and his axe drops out of it. Um, and everybody go ahead and make a perception check. Ooh. The 26. Okay. I can't beat him. Eight. <laughs> sixteen? Oh, you'd see it. I also got a twenty-six. I, okay. I had so, a sixteen. So. Okay, so everybody but Fi Foxfire, who's standing adjacent <laughs> to him and would see this. Um, I'm just so shocked you're still alive. Ring <laughs> fall off of his hand and start rolling away. I make a reflex save. Right. What is it? What, what would it be? Uh, you can make a dexterity save it. <laughs> to catch it? Yeah. Uh, I, I do not. 16? Trip, trying to get it. <laughs> um, yeah. You can grab it. I mean, it's not. It's a saving throw, so nine, uh, 19. Uh, but as you reach to grab it, the other uh, aspirant that's still alive is going to go ahead and take his two attacks against you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's still a guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god, magic weapons! It's not over yet. Uh, all right, so that's <laughs> not going to hit. Um, 13 wouldn't hit you either. No. Okay, so. That is Foxfire's turn, Sarsarel. Uh, well, I guess I stand up as my move action. Okay. <laughs> After tripping to try to catch yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> And then I... Uh, you going to move and attack? Y you know, that seems like the best choice, right? How many... You're you're still pretty bloodied over there, sir? Oh, well, yeah. Fine. Sirk's fine. Sirk's I've fine. taken 62 damage. I am going to use another. I told you failures were going to cost you. Uh... Just don't fail. 17 health that time. 17 health. Okay. Uh, all right. So, Shipwreck, it is your turn. You have a iron ring. It's hot. Oh, I still have one third level shit. spell left. Mostly because he was getting flamed on. <laughs> so the, I thought Shatter was better. It's only second. Um, so. All right. So I'm going to tuck that away. Okay. And then punch this guy multiple times. All right. And hopefully I crit once. 26 to hit him, 27, 21. You hit him three times. All right. 13 damage, uh, 17 damage, so 30 damage total. Okay. So a total of 38 damage. Okay. He is beat to hell, but still standing. And then go ahead and move me all the way around him. Um, Zaga. Uh, right about there. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna attack. Okay. With advantage. Yep. So I'll take the ten instead. So that would be seventeen to hit. Seventeen is gonna hit. Awesome. I'm also gonna use my bardic inspiration to I uh, whisper into my sword, and it does psychic damage as well. Nice. So that is ten. My d6 back. Mm, yep. Yeah. 
Thanks. Fourteen psychic damage. You just blood just starts gushing out of his ears as you <laughs> slash him. Um, and with that, there's just Volgrim the Mighty. Yeah. I give him a face bump. <laughs> he returns. Thanks. Fist bump. Thanks for the assist. And he says, "Why don't you get on your ship?" Oh, I'm missing something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says this temporary alliance. Uh, will not last. Um, do you have a horn that belongs to me, I believe? I don't remember having a oh horn that gosh. belongs to you at all. I, that's that's weird. I don't know. Can you make a wisdom saving throw? Are you dissonant whispering him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're just make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Some people should negotiate uh, before they... Uh, DC 16. Provide the services. Provide the service. That yeah. is uh, 12. <laughs> That's unfortunate for him. For some reason, by the end of this conversation, he's convinced for the next hour he's frightened of Fazago. Oh, nice. He's what? Frightened, frightened of Fazago. <laughs> so he has to move away from him at every possible turn. And I end the conversation with, how about next, you just watch yourself around here. <laughs> <laughs> and I confidently walk towards the ship. Is that the end of your turn, though? What? Is that the end of your turn, though? Yeah. All right, he's going to attack. <laughs> is, is he? Yeah. Really? That's, uh, that's, that's he's frightened uh, I don't think he can. <laughs> oh. The creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. Yes. So as yes. he moves away. Okay. So it's also with you? disadvantage. Oh, okay. Let me roll. Does the 15 hit you? I rolled the same twice. Oh, the 15 hits, yeah. Okay. Because, <laughs> like, man, I'm really scared of you. Hold on, <laughs> as I roll this damage. Yes. Uh, okay, so that is 10. It's like a taste 20. of what might happen next. Is it a concentration spell? Um, it's an effect. 25, 32 damage. Okay. How, how hurt are you? No, I'm down. <laughs> I just don't understand how he moved closer to me because at the end of my turn, I walked away. Right. As he has reach. He has how long no. is his reach? It doesn't matter. Are, were you adjacent to him? He can do no. it. No, I was over oh. here, and then I was walking away. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say, that's still 10 feet. I have a 30-foot movement. Right, but as, as soon as you as leave this threatening right. square, you yeah, have an opportunity to attack. Yeah, yeah, you do threaten up. Yeah. So. So, the Okay. Yeah, and then he walks away. So you get smacked, he's like, you're like, oh. And we just walk past you, pick you up, and carry yeah. you to the boat. He walks, you see him walking along the pier to another ship that is truly massive. Like bigger than ours. Yeah, you've seen it before. I believe there was somebody that went and visited it to gain some information about it. So yeah, you guys can get aboard the, the ship. You I'm sail off. Mm -hmm. um, it's a cool ship. We're going to Cholt. Set sail for Cholt. Um, and behind you, just the the sea is, is orange with the fire that is Emmerich's hold. Um, you see that uh, Rasoon doesn't appear to be going after ships that are on the ocean yet. Weird. Um, hmm. And that's where we'll end. Uh, is Cirque's going to hang out? Oh, well, I guess Cirque's driving. I had a plan for that, but you'd have to pick me up to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'd heal you. Okay, cool. As soon as that goes, I go go I heal go you. go behind decks, and for an hour, I look just like that commander we just killed on okay. the ship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you you're the orc captain, yeah. or the hobgoblin captain. Yeah. All right. So what are you doing? We sail off. To Chol. But if he flies over, it's not oh, us on the yeah. ship. It's okay. the orc. Okay. I didn't captain. realize that you were getting on the ship while looking like the hobgoblin captain. Okay. Well, so what's I didn't the get on the now? ship looking like that. So um, it, it's orcish, um, and well, it's not orcish. I should rephrase it. The um, the book that I got it from. Everybody, um, we appreciate it. Uh, we will be back in September with a full game. We'll be playing a little bit of Red Handed Doom next week. 
should be fun. It's a party of all dwarves, which will be interesting. Um, and yeah, thank you for supporting us through this journey. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.